Hello everyone, welcome on in. How is everyone doing this morning? I am just waking up myself and feeling a little cold. Uh, just to check in my levels here. Um, welcome on in everyone. We are going to be playing a little uh, snowy escape while I try and renovate uh, the final um, lot in the world. So that is pretty exciting. Looking forward to that. All right, just got to check out my camera here. Um, there's a few of me on the screen too. It's kind of overwhelming all of a sudden. Like I said, my first stream as affiliate was yesterday. And um, so that was definitely interesting to try and get used to. Um, let me get my screens adjusted here while I'm talking to y'all. Get my game up, game going. Um, how is everyone doing today? Uh, you know, things like that. What are we all up to? I am just planning on, uh, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for stream today. And I figured I am going to plan, I re remembered that I need to renovate the top of the mountain um, at, um, at Mount Kurabi. So we are going to be doing that. Um, let me just go into that so I can check that my game is showing correctly. We are windowed, windowed full screen is how I have to set it for when I'm streaming. So we gotta make sure we're doing that. Um, again, just checking my levels. I did turn them down a little. So if you're watching, let me know um, how that looks or how that sounds for you. We're gonna save. Um, All right, all right, guys. Again, this is a whole different ball of wax as a um, as a an affiliate. So we're gonna do that. We are gonna do that. All right. I'm also gonna get a tweet out saying that I am live, um, just so that we make sure that everybody. I gotta remember to start doing this before I go live. Um, so we're going to say, today we're finishing the last of the lots. We're, f we're uh, finishing, we're finishing uh, replacing. We're replacing, I'm not sure how I want to say, we're replacing the last of the lots for my world save then um, some gameplay to explore the caves stop on Bye. Stop on by. All right. And here we are. We are going. Let's see. Do I have this muted? I have that muted. I have you all here. Looking good. Everybody's looking good. And we are going to just get going here. Um, so right now what we've done is I have added um, this lovely lady uh, to our Anaya. Yang. Um, she was literally just in this art center, which is what I was, I'm uh, adjusting the eco footprints. And so we ended up in this world. Let's see, did I do this one yet? Because I think this was the last one I did. Yes. So we do have the, uh, for my uh, challenge, I have placed all of these community voting boards and then where is the trash cans? And then dumpsters throughout all the communities just because it hinges on that quite significantly. Um, and so that is what I've been doing and why we ended up in this neighborhood. There's one right here as well. So what we're going to do in order to um, do this mountain excursion, you need to actually plan 
a social event, which seems strange to me, but oops, no, we're not going to do that yet because Anaya, uh, Anaya, I'm not even sure how to say her name, um, she needs to buy mountain climbing gear. If we're going to do that major um, excursion, you want to have that mountain climbing gear and you have to purchase that through a computer. Um, so we're going to cancel this. She's going to buy that equipment if she cooperates. And we went back to using uh, Kano, who is a sim that I created specifically to try the snowy escape. All right, so they are both prepped. Now we are going to plan that social event. And that's how you get to go on this mountain climbing excursion. And there is, because this is for my world save, I do want to replace a lot. I personally think it's a little ridiculous that we would have a big building up at the top of the mountain just because how, like if you think about lo like logistically of how would you get all of that building supplies up there it doesn't make sense to me but um that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna start at the onsen bathhouse i was wondering if it would let me start anywhere else since i've replaced the lots up there but apparently you have to start at the onsen bathhouse so that's good to know um, what I did need to do was open up my file to document what we're doing here. Um, worlds. So bear with me while we... I've included in that document where I give everyone credit whose um, room I have replaced, we... Are, I, I added a hidden lot section because I realized that um, there are hidden lots that weren't being listed and so I wanted again to make sure everybody got credit um, so I'm not sure what I guess it would be the Mount Komorebi Peak would be maybe the name I don't know if it has an actual name all right, so the one thing I did learn was that we need to droopy sim. Hello, good morning, welcome on in. I'm just finishing the placement of the final lot. I thought I had them all, but I realized I have the top of the mountain. I still need to, um, I still need to replace. So <laughs> it looks like my moderator deleted my auto mod autobot deleted two of your messages were you doing emojis again I thought I adjusted that so I'm sorry what the heck um let me look at that again I do have my dashboard open just because emote protection so let me know if it was those emotes that was it was filtering and I can adjust those if I have to all right, so the one thing I know is everybody's cheats need to be good. Um, so since I'm doing this specifically to uh, get there and get the lot replaced, we're just going to cheat. This isn't really a playthrough. Um, cheat need, make happy. Oops, cheat need, make happy. And then we're going to disable and see what that does just out of curiosity too. So disable need decay. So we are going to, like I said, this is gonna be all about cheating. We're just trying to replace this lot, trying to be as quick as possible for this world save. I don't want to have too much uh, time pass. Like I want it to be a fresh save for when anybody uses it. Um, let me just, droopy let me just um, reset settings confirm we're gonna go back to the um, are you sure you want to reset your emote protections this cannot be undone okay so we have it set to the basic and maybe we won't have such issues with that um, 
yelling at people and like altering their messages that use a lot of emojis. Um, let's see here. Auto permit none. Subscribers, regular punishment purge. Uh, purge and so it didn't give me the warning so I guess I'm not sure um, I'm not sure what how to set these settings maybe I can I just shut it off there we go I could shut it off um, too many symbols caps protection restrict viewers from Sending all kept messages. Okay, we'll try these settings and hopefully it'll be a little bit better for y'all. So we're gonna teleport them here again. We wanna save as much time as possible. We're not looking to... Come on, lady, she's supposed to be going to work and she's not, so uh, one time, climb normally. I, have, I should set them both to eight. I set his climb skill to... Um, his climb skill to 10 and hers to 8 so I maybe should we're going to do the fitness skill too because I don't know if that's a factor or not fitness cheat we're going to give her good fitness to you a good level of fitness And does he have good fitness? He did when I last played him, but two. He's got a level two. We're going to give him a 10 to just to make sure that, let's close that up, to make sure that, you know, like I said, everything goes as smoothly as possible. Um, climb normally. So we are going to have to do these. Oh, we haven't we haven't equipped them with gear either. They are just like free climbing. So that uh, we need to do that next. Um, rock climbing. Um, so we're going to do that. We can move on. We don't have to complete everything. Um, again, this is just trying to get through it really quickly to make sure that we... Um, Droopy, I'm not seeing you again. I hope you didn't leave when I, it timed you out. Uh, I have those settings changed, so let's see here. I wanted to find the ice cave. Um, I didn't find that when we did the game playthrough, and there is an ice cave at some point. I didn't read anything about it either. I probably should. Um... I probably should, but what I really want to do is we are just going to cheat their needs, really. Again, this isn't about the actual gameplay. We are just trying to get up there and build up there, basically. So teleport here, teleport here. She always seems to take so long to teleport. So we are going to click on their gear, equip climbing gear, equip climbing gear, and we are going to cheat their needs. All right, and it looks like the storm is uh, inspect climbing conditions. We're going to do that. I don't know if that's a factor or not. And then she's going to one climb. Climb cautiously. They both have their gear on, so I'm thinking that would make things a little bit better. I'm hoping they don't die because <laughs> I guess we can start over again. But um, 
Lyman normally, unless it says he will not succeed really at all, which would be really sad. So she made it up, I think. I haven't seen the new death yet. Um, so hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't see that. He made it just fine to All right, so we are gonna move on. Again, I wanna look for that cave. I don't know where it is. We are gonna probably go back and do the gameplay of it, so that's okay too. I might have to Google it if I can't find it. Um, I wanted to say in the, at least in the trailer, it looked like they had a tent. Um, by that area that had the rock cave but <clears throat> again I might just have to google it right now we are more I should be more focused on um, unlocking that lot to build on all right here we are the climb of the ice fall was cold and beautiful. There's room for improvement on that section of a trail. The group leader has earned the middling a mountaineer trait. So I don't remember if that was the same trait he earned last time or not. So we have one more rock to climb. Uh, and is this the buildable one? No, it looks like we have one more. So there are four sections. Um, and I want to say maybe this is area that's supposed to have the cave. Again, I will need to Google it, I think, to find out the actual, the actual, uh, how we do that. So, um, this looks pretty treacherous. We are going to inspect it again. And she... <laughs> Uh, we don't have anything to eat in our inventory, but that's okay because it disappeared last time. So, uh, teleport here. Yeah, we forgot to teleport him. Again, trying to not waste as much time. We want to make this happen as soon as fast, you know, as quickly as possible. Um, inspect ball conditions. We're going to have her one time cautiously. She is hungry. I thought we cheated her needs, so that maybe went down again. We'll cheat his. Again, we're just trying to get there. They have both gear equipped, so that should make it a little bit easier. Oh, he says. She is going to town. Um, Kano is wearing success is high. So uh, one time courageously. Since that is one of the options that we have to do to meet, uh, to be able to move on, I am going to have him try it. I hope he doesn't die. That would be pretty bad especially since we're just looking to build I guess technically we have another sim that we could continue with I don't know if one of your sims dies on a rock climbing expedition if they cancel it or if you can go on really don't know so it looks like he made it he made it yahoo so that's good news for building Ah, here's a cave. Here is the cave. 
So we have the options of drink from mountain spring, explore side tunnels, investigate main tunnel, search for signs of past, past climbers, or sleep. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it right here, and then we can access those when we come back to the save. Once I have these guys uh, go up and we build on it, then... Um, then we could save it as a separate save. That's my plan and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so consult map marker, consult map marker. All right, and we are moving on. So when you really just kind of cheat their needs and you know teleport them everywhere, this goes really quickly actually. So Mount Komorebi Peak, um, we are going to build up here. That is the plan. So it looks like you don't even have to hit the cheat. Um, and of course I have the Twisted Mexi uh, build with no weather mod. So this is all gonna disappear for me. Um, and it's gonna look kind of strange actually seeing this area with no weather. But I did find a couple of uh, mountaintop peaks that I wanted to place. Um, current, yes, we're going to have that stay as the peak. Now I saw this on the gallery and I loved it because I felt it was really realistic. Um, I probably will reno it a little bit, but I thought this is actually, you know, I guess the trees, there aren't any other trees up this high, but I like the look of it. So you know what I might do is I might use the tool mod to place some more trees around here. And I know that wouldn't be actually consistent with having, um, you know, a snow capped, there are, trees don't grow up there, like no, no things grow up there basically from my understanding. So um, I also think we are going to remove this, um, we're going to remove this. We're not going to have a cross there uh, just because that is a religious symbol. Even though, you know, we do have in... Um, Uh, I'm trying to think of where Windenburg we have a, a Notre Dame build that does have some religious paintings um, and I chose to leave that in there it is not custom content and I do say you know if that's something you don't want in your build you know feel free to remove it um, you know that's up to personal preference definitely so that is the plan here all right so I think so we have um, some seats and a cooler so they can at least get something to eat and what else do we need we have a pea bush so they can pee we have a snow yeti in here that's kind of cute I didn't know that she put that so um, so again while I'm thinking of it uh, you know what I'm gonna take a break guys uh, I have to let my dogs out I hear them barking upstairs so I'm going to take a quick break and then I will be right back guys stay tuned I'm gonna run an ad too while we're at it
Oh my goodness, you guys could hear that the whole time. So you heard me running around. I apologize for that. I thought I muted my microphone, but I did not. So that's not a good look. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So I guess I will double mute from now on. Anyhow, what we're doing is we are building um, in The Sims. That's what we're doing. Let me get myself settled again. All right. So this is the peak of a Mount Komorebi that we are building in. And uh, this is a lot from the gallery. That's what I was doing. I kind of got up suddenly to let the dogs out and was not very organized. So I wanted to, in my document where I'm giving credit, uh, documenting everyone who whose builds I'm using in this world save, um, we are going to write down the name so that anybody can look up uh, other builds of theirs. So this one, uh, the peak is by, no, this isn't the right one actually. Uh, lots. It's got to be that one. Memories, it's the only one I have saved. So Memories 410 is who uh, this lot that we've placed. And so I have that documented. So I think this is literally the final lot of that I have to place. So that's exciting. It's it's a good feeling to feel like I'm done. So we are going to say, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Congrats on affiliate, Vandy Squirrel, lurking while I do laundry. Awesome, thank you for the lurk, welcome on in. Um, and you have cheered 100 bits, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I got 100 bits yesterday for my very first bits, and you are my second bits. They, somebody just randomly stopped in and gave me 100 bits since I'm a new affiliate, which was so sweet. And it's very sweet of you to do that as well. I really appreciate that. So enjoy your lurk. I will be here talking to you and myself and anybody else who stops in. So really appreciate that. Uh, and so we have uh, this hidden... Um, Yeti in here that they have placed. I love that. I'm going to leave that. And I just want to make sure we have all our needs met. Uh, we have a fire. I don't know if we can um, build fun with that or not. So um, we have a cooler. So if you have uh, the outdoor. Also, FYI, we can't see the game. You have full. Oh, goodness. This is, I, this is something I really need reminding of. Um, this is like the fourth time I've done it, and I'm not really sure how I can remember to switch it. But I appreciate you letting me know. Um, I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. It's a mistake that I have made several times now, and fortunately, there are people like you who just let me know. I'm like, hey, we can't see the game, and then I, you know. I guess I'll have to figure something out. Uh, I need a third monitor is what I need. So that's what I really need. I appreciate that. Um, so we will go back. Uh, and I'm not sure. They must not be able. Oh, they can get right up to this kind of peak. Not to this uh, area here, though. So... We have a place to rest. We probably should have a place to sleep, too. Um, just because by the time they do get up here, they... Well, I guess you can nap in the pea bush. That's technically... You can do that. Um, here is the Yeti I mentioned. He is in there. <laughs> he's got kind of a weird pose. I'm not sure why he's in that pose, but uh, don't worry about it. It's all uh, learning through experience. Well, I appreciate you saying so. Um, I'm a little bit frustrated with myself is the reality of it. And, uh, yeah, I, I'll try and chuck it up to the, the learning experience. So I appreciate you saying that very much as a noob. Um, 
I guess that's something we do uh, more often than not, So in my case. So I'm just trying to figure out what we are going to place in here that uh, I would like to see if I were coming up here, what items would I put up here? Again, it's the top of the mountain. Um, the reason I cho chose this build for my world save is because it is more realistic. Um, again, those trees I don't think would necessarily be up here. It's so high up that uh, I don't think things grow largely. Um, we have some trees back here, but... So I don't know if I might take the tool mod and duplicate some around so it doesn't look quite so out of place. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about that here while we're working on it. But again, the reason I didn't want to have this big fancy building up here is because I didn't think that, like from a realistic point of view, that they would be hauling all of these building materials up to the top of the mountain. And I, I mean, I know th crazier things have happened, but... Um, since this is my save file, I'm telling the story like I want it told. And if you are using the save file, you could totally replace this lot if you want to. So there's always that as well. I'm looking in the outdoor items. I don't know that there's much um, that we would have. Again, maybe presuming that a Yeti lives in here. Um, you know, what other items we would have. Snowshoe or horseshoes, maybe that's a doesn't require any electricity or anything. Um, but there is, unless I place it with tool, which I could do, I guess. I'm gonna do that um, because this isn't the only lot I would have placed with tool, so we're gonna do that. It seems like a nice rustic thing. You know what, I should do or could do is um, kind of filter out by. Uh, the outdoor retreat. That is what I could do. I had to stop so abruptly to let my dogs out that I'm kind of, I kind of got jarred out of streaming mode and am not quite back into it yet. So um, again, we should have I don't want it to be so like realistic that but I also want to be able to do the things we need to do so that if you're not using cheats that you can sleep and eat and that kind of thing so um, make it a little bit more interesting to be up here but it might not actually need it I'm kind of debating with myself back and forth whether or not we would have something like that. Don't worry, you're doing fine. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's also a little easier when there's somebody in chat to kind of bounce uh, bounce off of. Uh, sitting here and talking to myself definitely can be difficult at times, but um, you know, when there's somebody in chat that gives me new ideas or like if I'm built yesterday I was building some things and there was somebody in chat who was giving me ideas and so it, you know it was it was far more like a conversation at that point uh, whereas you know during the lulls I definitely feel like I'm in mode of I'm talking to myself so <laughs> it's been kind of interesting getting used to streaming that's for sure um, we do have the so what I could do actually is place like a waterfall in a bottle and something like that. Uh, you know, kind of presuming that somebody brought their camping gear up here. Um, so I might do that. That's actually what I think I will do. Um, I don't think you're going to hike with a like pop-up camp uh, counter like this, but... You know, weirder things have happened, I guess. I'm not really familiar with extreme hiking, so... You know, I kind of like these trees too. But again, if we're going to put them around... Let me just go into and see how much... Okay, they don't stand out too bad. Um...
And I think I might... I get that. I started streaming over two years ago. My stream yesterday was mostly me talking to myself. The trick is to keep talking and telling stories. That's a good tip. Um, yes, I, I think that is something I definitely need to work on, too. Um, I'm going to rotate this around. So are you, I assume you have become more um, comfortable at this point. All right. So yes, this seems to make more sense to me, I think. Just really trying to determine which angle I want it at. Oop, I can't do that. So looks like we have either this way or the other way. And let's try it in this mode again just to see what I think. Oh, I think I like it. I think I like it the... I don't know. I really don't know which way I prefer. Um, it looks like, to me, it kind of looks like the way that it was designed would be to have this kind of warning sign facing the hikers um, and then like have this on the back side of the mountain but the way it sits aesthetically to my eye anyway I like it this way too so um, it could go either way I suppose anyhow let me keep my focus of I'm kind of jumping all over the place here, which, you know, some days are like that. I, I knew that this stream might be a little rough. Um, I'm feeling kind of dizzy this morning, so I had a Gatorade to kind of help with that. And um, sometimes when I'm feeling like that, my mental clarity isn't there. So, um, But I still wanted to stream. This is something I enjoy doing. And, um, you know, I love chatting with you guys and and seeing um, if anybody's in chat, you know, having these conversations, like it really is good for me. I think especially during COVID when I'm really not leaving the house at all, um, you know, I, it's a way for me to socialize that, you know, I may screw up a lot, like as far as like um, streaming etiquette or, you know, like forgetting to switch my screen, that kind of thing. Um, but at the end of the day, it is about connecting with people. And, um, you know, it, that's why I would say it's good for me just because uh, I need to do that right now. I'm not really getting out. Um, I'm just not really getting out much. And I, as a lot of people are, a lot of people are struggling to have that human connection. And it's so important. And, you know, I think that's why a lot of people's mental health is suffering. Uh, they're not used to this isolation and, you know, are used to interacting maybe with their families or their friends a lot more. And we're largely not able to do that, at least if you're trying to be safe. So, um, and since my family household is really, I would say is a compromised household, a vulnerable household, um, you know, we're really trying to stick to those rules very, very strictly. So, uh, oh yeah, like talking about your pets and what a silly thing that one of them did, even if it has nothing to do with the game. That is, wow. See, I am so like, uh, I am so cued off of what is happening. Um, so I'm not, I'll have to, like, I'll have to think of that. Also remember, if you need to take time off, that is important. I took a three month hiatus. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. I started... Uh, streaming like a couple months ago and there were several couple two three weekends where I didn't stream at all I just wasn't feeling up to it uh, that is something I'm very open with about my community I actually want to post something about it on my twitch page is I don't have a schedule um, I do have a schedule posted this weekend but um, I am really hesitant about making a schedule because even like if I you know, yesterday had decided, okay, I feel like streaming tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, I might not be up for it. And so, you know, I'm trying to be really open and honest with my community about the fact that I, um, I just can't be consistent. I have a lot of, uh, physical health issues and mental health issues on top of that. Uh, and so, you know, I'm just, I'm just going out there and just going to be like honest with, with my community that, that's the reality of it. And, 
Um, so yes, uh, I am, I do take time off when I need to. And I kind of judged this morning that I wasn't feeling too, um, even though I was a little bit dizzy, it wasn't too bad. Um, but I am feeling a slight effects of, like I said, my mental clarity. So, um, and I think that's part of why, you know, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of struggling to bounce back a little. Yesterday was a good day. I felt like really on top of it. Today's not as much, though it's not a bad day. Um, but that's just something I deal with and I deal with anywhere I go and, you know, anything I do, like if I was just building in The Sims, uh, which is probably what I would be doing otherwise, um, I would be struggling, like just a little bit, uh, just because the clarity is not there. So um, yesterday, I, as long as you mentioned pets, yesterday we actually, I got to show my dog, my little dog on stream. That was fun. Um, I'm thinking about adding a uh, redeem if you want to redeem your band points um, so that you can check out I can bring the dog in here I can bring the cat in here normally they don't I'm in my bedroom and normally they don't come in here uh, my husband is allergic to cats and uh, so they don't come in here but I could go and grab them and like sit them on my lap and so that was one of the ideas I came up came up with for uh, point redemption um, so he got his debut on Twitch yesterday. So that was kind of, that was kind of cute. He's a bug-eyed Boston Terrier. Um, and so I had him kind of here and he was just kind of poking up like his eyes bugging out because he was so excited that he was sitting on my lap. Um, and in here, normally he doesn't get to come in here too often um, either. So the cats never get to come in here. The dogs come in here every now and again. So a couple times a day. Um, so that was fun too. Uh, I liked, sh I like showing my pets off. It seems to be that a lot of people like seeing pets on stream. So that is something I've been in the back of my mind trying to contemplate how I can incorporate it. Uh, even though they're not around me in the bedroom kind of on a regular basis. So, so we have a waterfall in a bottle. Um, I don't think we're going to need fire foam. However, we're going to put it there because if anybody lights themselves on fire on this campground or this campfire, <clears throat> excuse me, then it might be a good thing to have since I don't know. I don't know how they'd handle it, but we're going to put that there anyway. Um, maybe it's kind of a joke. Spider repellent insulation powder. Well... Let's see what we have. We have bracing breezes, we have a sunny aspect, and we have peace and quiet. Okay, so the builder of this um, did assign those lot traits, and I think they're perfect, so we're going to leave them. I was contemplating adding maybe creepy crawlies or anything like that, but you probably wouldn't have too many insects up here either. Um, so those are perfect. And then I am actually going to include... Uh, the, I know that Snowy Escape has some of those canisters too, um, Fire Quencher, oh no, I have that one still selected, let's deselect that, um, and I can't remember what they are, Injury Bomb, okay, so this is the type of thing that I was thinking might be appropriate, Injury Bomb, uh, Crawling Pretty, Calming Sound, I haven't used that yet, so, um, so we're, so I'm going to put them there, not knowing what they do. Neural calming skin sap after this, after getting a demoshi tack, uh, suffering from a giant centipede. So it looks like, I was thinking those would be from sports injuries, but it looks like that is not the case. Um, oh yes, I wanted to add, let me make a note for myself, uh, while I'm at it. You guys know, if you've watched before, that I'm kind of addicted to my digital sticky notes on my screen. That if I think of something, again, because my memory is fairly crappy, um, that I have to make notes for myself. And I, if I, I can't type my notes and talk at the same time, so I tend to go quiet, otherwise I forget what I'm saying. Um, fish shine for... Aquarium. 
So I just rentoed the aquarium for this world save, and I had see I saw that um, this fish sign that I had thought of when I was building to include it because I thought that would be really appropriate to have in an aquarium. Uh, and I forgot to do it, so I wanted to make a uh, make a note for myself so I remember it. So we got that done. Okay. Um, let's see if there's any other equipment that would be appropriate. I mean, I really do like this build. I kind of wanted to add to it just something, but, you know, it is darn right perfect, actually. So we might put this here. Um, whoa. Whoa. So we are going to have maybe the pop-up table. Again, I don't know that a hiker would hike up with this big, you know, thing broken down on their back. So that isn't entirely realistic, but... Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I have to help my husband with a few things, but you're doing a great job. Thank you so much. I really appreciate those kind words. Um, I definitely need them right now. Um, have fun helping your husband, and um, I look forward to seeing you again. I, I don't know if you're going to lurk or not or take off, but either way, I hope you have a great day. Um, all right, so I think we might get the tool mod now. Um, we're going to not use just snowy escape. I wanted to try and place some trees and see if that made it feel any different. Um, so we definitely want to stick with all pine trees, I believe, um, not the ponderosa pine. That's kind of more of a southwestern or yeah, it's like well, at least what I think of as southwestern. Um, maybe we'll just use that. So I am going to, again, this is kind of silly that we have a horseshoe up in the mountain, but but here we are. We are going to do it rotate it. We're going to rotate that 180. I want it facing uh, the other direction. And I don't even know if they can play it. That would be the thing. Can they play horseshoes? I just wanted something for fun. For them to have for fun. Let me check this out here. All right, so do I like this? Oh yeah, and I was gonna find a flag of some sort to put up there. Yeah, I totally don't like this um, this horseshoes up there. It is something, like I said, they could do without uh, without electricity, um, but again, like, my brain is so stuck in reality of, like, they would not hike up here with, you know, uh, those items. Like, that seems just ridiculous. But I did want to put a flag of some sort. I'm not sure what kind. Um, do we have the debug? We need the live edit on as well. Um, just looking for a flag. What kind of flag do we want? I think it's definitely appropriate to plant a flag at the top of the mountain when you get there. Somebody would definitely do that. Um, <laughs> we could use a bright chester. Why don't we try that? That might be kind of funny, actually. Uh, at least I'm amused by it, so I guess that's what counts. Um, we're going to do 
Discover University. We are going to do wall hangings. And this is totally what I was envisioning, something like this. It's a little too college-y, but... <laughs> like, you know, that the, the schools are like rival schools, and here they are planting their flag up here. Um, that amuses me. That definitely amuses me. Like, you know, capture they're playing capture the flag, and... Um, this is the flag they choose to leave up here. Maybe we will do a little tool rotation on that as well. Because, uh, you know, I guess maybe there's wind up here, but I don't know that that would be... Let me check how it looks in the snow-covered version. It looks fine. It definitely looks fine. Um, I don't want these like... This is such a cool build. I really... I'm glad I found this build. And I might um, place... Oh, we could place that up there. I was thinking we might get some juice too or something from like eco lifestyle so that it looks like you know people have brought their litter up here which would be realistic too unfortunately that's kind of a sad thing but uh why don't we try that and it is on the hour so i'm actually going to take a break i've been trying to take a break every hour to run an ad so that anybody watching doesn't have those ads uh just appearing i think it's every hour i meant to look in let me write a note uh if it's every hour or every half hour add every hour or half hour so i can make sure to look that in and try and plan accordingly to make sure that uh, we are running ads so that the stream doesn't get specifically interrupted for anyone. Um, that is something I definitely want to become in the routine of. So I'm going to do a quick be right back. I'm going to remember to mute my microphone this time. Again, such a newbie here. Um, and I will be back in just a couple of minutes, guys.
All right, guys, welcome back in. Um, let's see, just check out my levels. Oh my gosh, that close up screen, I'm telling you. It's a right above my resume uh, after my be right back screen, and so I always click it. Uh, and that's not the screen I mean to be clicking. So that again, I forgot to work these things out. I've been thinking about maybe getting a, like one of those stream decks uh, so I can navigate that way. It might be a little bit easier on my brain to do that. Um, it looks like I'm clipping sound wise. So I want to turn that down a little bit or maybe move this away. That's the problem with when I get up and adjust things that, uh, you know, this microphone is closer. I have it set for a certain location. And then, uh, so you guys, if you're listening, let me know right now, it looks like it is not clipping. But one of the things that drives me nuts is when streams are way too quiet, that really bothers me. And so, uh, I definitely don't want that to be happening either. All right, remember to go back into my small screen. Let's get position. It's cold in here today. I am wearing a sweater. I am covered in a blanket. Uh, it's perfect to be working on snowy escape. Um, all right. So we have, basically, we've just added this sort of lot to the top of the mountain here. Um, all your basic needs. Uh, we have a cooler to get some snacks out of. We have um, a fire. I think that would, maybe you could do, depending on the fire, you could have some re replenish your fun there. We have the pea bush. Um, is this a snowy, snowy escape specific one? It is, I think. Why am I not? So that's exciting if we got one that doesn't have like um, flowers on it and stuff. That would be, I'm so excited about that. I haven't seen that item. Um, it's called Komarebi Shrubbery. Let me show all. It won't let me select it. Okay, so I don't know if that one, Komorebi Shrubbery. Just because I want to check out this item, that would be super awesome if, oh yes, so that is awesome. So they can rest here, like you can nap in a bush. Uh, we have our, again, our uh, Yeti here. And I think I'm gonna call that good. We, we have, everything we need. So let's see his love. Oh yeah, I cheated everybody's level so we can't do a test. But right now we are going to save this. I think I have it saved, but we're going to save it again just to be sure. And then we're going to test these items out. I just want to make sure everything works. Um, light. And they're way back. I'm not sure what she got three hundred dollars for. Oh, for for uh, Mac. Hello, welcome in. How are you doing today? Uh, we are just we have placed the final lot of my world save, um, and we're just testing it out here. He was gonna light that, but I don't want him to have to. I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. Um, again, <laughs> I'm, I was feeling a little dizzy this morning. Um, it's something I deal with on a daily basis uh, with the conditions I have. And I still felt like I wanted to stream. Um, it affects my mental clarity a little bit. Uh, and so I'm, I feel like I'm struggling a little bit more than normal, but it's not too bad. Uh, and so I wanted to I still wanted to stream like it's still great for me it's good for my mental health in other ways to be on you know interacting with the community and you know so I wanted to be on to be able to do that and have some interaction because right now I don't leave the house uh, I interact with my husband who lives with me and then my youngest daughter and she's very she isolates up in her room because she's you know a daughter a young daughter like that um, teenager so 
that's what they do, I guess. And um, so I really wanted to be on and be interacting with people. So what are you up to today? I'm obviously just uh, working on my world save and playing The Sims. I didn't explore the caves, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I had I had saved right when in the area that they uh, when the cave where the caves were, and then when I got up here, I was going to save separately, but I forgot to do that. So now we have to start over again. It's okay though. Um, that's part of my the mental thing is I forget to do like little things like that. So. Um, we're going to light this. I was just uh, going to play test this. We have placed this lot. I wanted to see uh, if they could do everything they need to do. Um, tell a group story. Fairy tale about a princess. I turned my lecture exam. Turn in my lecture exam and we're going to bake cookies with my grandma in a bit. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. That's some great memories of baking cookies with my grandma, definitely. I hope, I, you know... I'm happy for you that you get to do that. And then eat them too, hopefully. That's kind of the best part, is eating cookies. Um, at least in my opinion. So, uh, would you let me know? The sound of the game seems pretty loud to me. Um, you agree. That's, that's cool that you agree. Um, I don't know if you guys are hearing the sound at all. So, would you just let me know... Um, that would be super awesome. Obviously, it gets louder or quieter, but uh, we're going to try and go up here and interact with this one. He doesn't need to eat, but he's going to. We're going <laughs> to. There's milk on the mountaintop. Um, I think I might take some of these. And just put them elsewhere. Or try to anyway. Oh, I can't put things. It won't let me put things there. That is a no tool zone. Looks like a lot of this is. So it's really narrow the amount you can interact with. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I was hoping to kind of put some back here, um, but since we can't click on it, that's not the way you can do that, so. So it is what it is, I guess. We will put it over here. Toggle active object. Okay, so I think I'm going to call it all good. Everybody can inter um, can interact with everything. It looks like he's headed up there. Let's just confirm. Yep, and then, uh-oh, where did my... Oh, my flag go. So I amused myself. We ended up putting a Brightchester flag up here. Um, you know, it's kind of like capture the flag. I kind of amused myself and envisioned that. Uh, I guess that's Foxbury. That the two colleges were like racing to get up here. And that's what they did. The original uh, builder had put a crucifix here. And I didn't, I wanted to, uh, I associate that with being morbid when it's like placed, you know, in the, snow or something like that's a grave marking a grave site so I wanted to change that all right so I think we're good to go um, and then we have our cute yeti in here and that's what I wanted to discover if uh, if there's a yeti I haven't explored the cave at all and so I wanted to do that next um, and they can access all these areas, so that's awesome. I don't hear the game sounds. Okay, um, that's good to know. So, let me check my settings here. My mixer. Um, game. 
game capture. And he can use that, so that's perfect. So we are going to head home now. Travel, travel. He's not going to sleep. Okay, let me, I'm just going to troubleshoot while I, yeah, and the, while they are traveling and see what I can find. Um, I think it makes sense that you can't hear the sounds because they're not listed in my list of, um, as one of the options even. So I'll have to, I'll have to work on that. Um, let me write a note for myself. Game sounds on stream. All right, so we're heading back home. Actually, we're gonna head here. So I wanna go back and do the, try and do the uh, exploring the cave. I didn't do that when I ex did the gameplay before. I totally missed it. Um, and so I wanna do that. But we are going to save as um, gameplay. So we're going to save a can spell. Uh, save a second copy of this so that this is the world that I play in and then we work uh, towards finishing that world save. Okay, so now we are in one that I can screw up basically is what I'm worried about. Like if I uh, if I screw it up, I don't want to screw up my world save. I'm trying to keep the time. The part of the reason I do that is I try to, um, when I do a world save, I try to keep as little time from passing as possible. Um, just because whenever anybody launches into it, I want it to be like a fresh save that hasn't, a lot hasn't happened in yet. And so that you're developing those stories as you would like to. Uh, he isn't going to plan a social event again. I wonder if the mountain one is available right away or not. So it is. Um, so he, we're going to just do the same thing over again. We'll cheat needs. I just, again, am trying to get up there. Um, last time it was to build, but this time it's to explore, even though it's technically gameplay. Um... So Mac, have you, I don't remember, do you have Snowy Escape? Have you played with it? Do you like it? Teleport here. I'm liking it so far. I want to go, I want to get back into the gameplay a little bit more. Uh, I haven't built with it much. I was thinking maybe tomorrow I might start a build on, on stream. One time, climb normally. One time. I'm courageously. Hopefully nobody dies. We'll save that again. If he dies, we can cancel it. I don't have snowy escape yet. I want to get it soon, though. Awesome. Yes, I I do recommend it. I think it is great. Um, I think there will be probably a lot of giveaways. Uh, I'm trying to figure out... I do a lot of giveaways. I'm trying to figure out if I can do one um, now that they just announced... There is a Black Friday sale, but I don't know if Snowy... Pro, Snowy Escape's probably not on that since it's so new. Um... Move on. So yeah, I I think there'll still be a lot of giveaways for Snowy Escape, though. Um, I'm seeing a lot of them on Twitter still, so you know maybe you could. I don't know if you're into you know entering that kind of thing, but I know a lot of people do and just cross their fingers and um, you know I love doing giveaways. It 
really makes my day that it makes somebody else's day. And when I'm financially financially able to do so, um, I like to do that. Right now, we're trying to save, um, but that doesn't mean I couldn't do it. So I'm trying to I'm trying to gauge whether or not I'm going to do one uh, with this Black Friday sale. Expansions, except snowy, are 50% off. Game packs are 25. Stuff stuff packs are 50. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, there's some good... Like, this is... That's probably the best deal that you'll see. Um, ex inspect and one time climb normally. And we do have our gear on. Condition great. Condition, great. I have entered some giveaways there a lot. Yeah, okay, cool. I thought there were still a lot. Um, so I keep telling people that, you know, definitely if you can't afford it right now, you know, give it a shot. You have nothing to lose, really. So um, climb normally. So again, I am just focusing on getting up to that cave. Uh, I was going to cheat there relationship. I just, I cheated her into the family so we could go on this dis excursion. Um, so let me pull up my cheat list here. So I can pull that out and we're going to make them because I know it's, I think it's a new woohoo spot. So I wanted to do that. Um, so we're going to try that and let's see, this is Kano Sakurai. Sakurai and Anaya Yang. Then I think it's the same chi with romance. Oops, oops, oops. My camera's go getting away from me. Romance. Okay, so she is she married? Like I said, I just totally like stole her from the family and just to go on this mountain excursion, I knew nothing about her. She was just in the community lot that we were in. Uh, so that is kind of funny, actually. Have a sim rest for at least an hour or gather them at the... So we are going to teleport everybody here. I'm using so many cheats. Normally when I do gameplay, I don't, I don't use cheats. But today we are... All right, so we're going to move on. You just want to get through it. Yeah, like I did the mountain excursion before, uh, like normal gameplay. And I just realized yesterday, I'm like, oh, there's that, there's that cave that I didn't do. Um... And so I wanted to go back and do that. Is it up here? Yes. So last time when we went on the excursion, this wasn't iced over. So I did see that sometimes, depending it the weather can maybe the weather conditions. I don't remember this fire being here either. So does it change? That's interesting if it does. It's possible I just forgot. So since I can't get into the ice cave. Yeah, because we came over here before. So it so there are double there must be different options. That must be. Because I'm pretty sure we came oh no, it's just because we climbed up. That's why. 
I am remembering correctly, but missing parts at the same time. That's very typical of me. My memory is just... But this one has to light a bonfire, and I've not had that before. I think the guru said in the stream that it changes. Okay. So we're going to have to go back and do it again because we can't get in the cave this time. I knew I should... I was just trying to hurry up so that I could get to the top and build. That was my one chance. Hopefully I'm not like playing this like Groundhog Day like over and over and over and... Um, so I don't know if I should. I don't know what I should do. Should I just cancel it and then come back and hope that it changes? Um, to the Google machine. We will see what Google has to say about it. Um... Climb guide. Preparation is key. Beginning your mountain excursion. Walk through Mount 2, Komarebi Base Camp. Why won't it focus on her? Oh, it's because I'm in windowed mode, so I have to leave my mouse there. She's not doing too hot either. Um, the Croft Icefall. Mount Komorabi Peak. Okay. Just reading this a little bit here. I guess I'm not getting any super awesome info on it. Uh, how do you even hike up? All right, so we are going to climb normally, climb normally, teleport here. We're gonna go again. And we're going to load out. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We're going to actually end it. We're going to try again. We're going to try again. Oh, and now we're just stuck here. Now we're just stuck here. Um, and I don't have a time cheat. Like, I was thinking maybe we could try going in the morning. Weather conditions might be a little bit better. Um... Entrance blocked. We're going to travel. We're going to travel home this time and just restart it. Just try and see if we can find something new to do until that resets. <laughs> um, now I feel silly that I didn't do it the first time. Oh well. It could be interesting trying to play this. Trying to get it to show so they actually already he did he still has the moodlets from um, c completing the last climb in the presence of a legend for being around a motivating sin sim sim my grandma wants to make the cookies chocolate chip with walnuts so I will be lurking okay uh, have fun lurking. I really appreciate that lurk. Have fun with your grandma too. Uh, that is awesome. And I'm a little bit jealous of uh, chocolate chip cookies with Walmart. So that sounds delicious. All right. So this is one of the houses that we have placed. Uh, again, if you are just joining us, uh, I do have a world save that I'm working on. And we do have a master list here of everybody whose builds I used in the world save. Some are mine, but uh, largely I wanted to have the best of the best in my world save because this is the world save that I'm going to be playing in. Uh, and so this is the houses. Uh, if you want to check who it's by, there is that list there. 
and right now uh, they just came in from the mountain everybody is hungry um, she made some microwave instant noodles I didn't know that they could do that uh, he's gonna uh, he is gonna make this hot pot for one and they have a lot of money right now so we're gonna choose the expensive one that's because I cheated them a lot of money um, so that is why we ended up the way we did here and hero is just passed out he is uh, actually I haven't played in this house yet so I need to make sure that there is a dog bowl of some sort for him to eat um, where will I put it that is always the question where are you gonna put the dog bowl or the cat bowl um, it looks like probably here would be a good spot actually so we're gonna add that we are gonna do I wanted to do a red dog bowl I like the red one actually we're gonna do this red one keep it simple keep him fed um, we're gonna fill that up oh, fill it up for 40 bucks actually we will have her fill it up since she'll be done eating first and then we're gonna schedule the time every 12 hours they don't need to eat that often I don't think My mouse is going crazy today. I gotta settle in a little bit better. Kind of came back from break and got going right away because I was trying to be quick and uh, didn't actually properly settle in, so. All right. He's peeing awkwardly on the stairs. The animals in this game, I swear. Okay, so is he eating or what? So all our needs are super great, super high. Um, let's see what her skills are. I don't have the mod where I can change the time, otherwise I would just do that and we'd kind of skip ahead, but today is not that day. We're going to just have to have them uh, interacting for a while plus you know we get to hang out and check out this lovely build chat with hero she's gonna take him on a short walk she got some sentiment so we're gonna check that out too um, oh no so she uh, feels deeply connected to a Kano, but she is resentful about a failed mountain climb. She's bitter about a terrible mountain climb, or that's how he feels about her. So that's no good. Um, we also need to take off the rock climbing gear, otherwise they're going to do everything in that. All right. So when I first started this, it was very amusing because <laughs> they, I, I got back from the mock mountain climb. They had their rock climbing gear equipped for the mountain. Um, and they came in, came home, got in the shower and they had gloves and boots on. And I was like, okay, is this a new glitch? Like, I have no idea what's going on. Like, why are they showering? I like went to the bug reports. I looked to see if there was any bug reports of like Sims showering with their gloves and shoes on. And we had like the shoe, so the shoe off sign, you know, so I was so confused. And then one of my people in chat said they still have their mountain climbing gear on. And I was like, oh, so that was a funny little story about how I discovered that you actually have to like equip and unequip. Uh, that so looks like the uh, 
gear is in great condition. We don't need to repair it. So that is something to watch out for as well. Uh, you may have to repair it at times. And I wonder how that will affect if you attempt to climb and your gear needs repair, that could be problematic, I assume. So again, we are really just trying to, I want to check out that cave. That's where I'm at with this game. I want to check out that cave. I think there's a woohoo interaction. I want to check that out. Um, I don't know anything about it though. And when we went last time, it was frozen over. The first time it wasn't frozen over, uh, but I, fr I saved over it and I didn't mean to, but I did. Uh, and then uh, this second time it was frozen over so we're gonna go a third time we'll see what happens um, but I wanted a little time to pass maybe let the weather pass see all of that um, because that definitely could make a difference uh, if the weather conditions are different I don't I don't know like I said I'm not familiar with it so we're gonna see what the difference is um, I was gonna google it two. Uh, let's see here. Hike to the top of Mount Komorabi. Yep. 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 Hiking gear. Uh, new MC Command Center update, which allows for randomize, randomizing skills through its benevolent dice. Oh, that's interesting. Um, better th one things to do on route. So they can do things like collect food, blackberries. I didn't know there were blackberries. Woohoo in a cave, drink from the mountain strings, and you can, the player can build on the hidden lots. Okay, so we um, were able to build on that lot, but I didn't know there were blackberries. That's exciting. Is Are blackberries new? No, I think, we, don't we have blackberries already? I always get really excited when we have new plants. Like I, I love the gardening. I love plants in this game. I usually have very massive uh, gardens, so that's really exciting to me. If we, but I think we have blackberries already. So ah well. What I really want to know is, I also. I think it was in the live stream they mentioned something about finding something in the cave and so that's really what I'm excited about I want to see what happens there it sounds like there are many different options that you can choose from all right guys so um, he is literally standing around doing nothing. That is so boring for you guys. What is she up to? She's walking the dog. We put him in a little like snowy outfit. Uh, he looks like he has plenty of hair, so he probably wouldn't need a snowy outfit. I have a pit bull and a Boston Terrier and live somewhere where it's winter, like six months out of the year. Uh, and my dogs appreciate sweaters and booties. So, um, I kind of, I dressed him this way, just, I guess, thinking about my dogs in the snow, but I do think that breed that he is, uh, is probably pretty, pretty, uh, made for the snow, pretty warm. He's got a lot of fur, so, um, and I love this outfit for her. I just changed her. She's somebody that was just in the neighborhood and I wanted her, somebody to have, uh, uh, Kano to have some company to go on this excursion. I could have sent him by himself, but I thought, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, if somebody dies, I want to keep going. I don't know if the game lets you go or not if somebody dies, but um, if I only had one sim, that would be game over. So I didn't want that to happen. So I added her. She was just some uh, NPC that I had in the where whatever public venue we were in. So I added her to the family. I've cheated their relationship. We're going to make this happen. I've cheated her skills so she could go up the mountain with him. So it's this whole big... I've cheated. I've just cheated to make this happen. That's just, let's just be real here. We're just doing a lot of cheating to try and get this to happen. But I did go into Cass and check out her outfits. She was really well dressed actually for an NPC. I like, I liked all of her outfits. I even liked her outdoor outfit, uh, but I wanted to put her in something from Snowy Escape. So, uh, 
this really suited her in my mind. She is uh, an artist, so I think she would have that, you know, kind of funky, like that's the bright yellow is a pretty bright color, so I think it fit her really well. Let's see if he started doing anything. He did. What is he doing? Watching TV. So I know uh, this is pretty tradi traditional that they will have this cot, whatever table. I can't remember what this table is called. I was going to try and say it, but I'm not sure I remember what it's called. Uh, and then a TV nearby. I think that happens traditionally um, oftentimes. And so I liked that, that this home had that. Again, it's from the gallery. We do have our master list of homes and uh, buildings, venues that I've placed uh, to make sure everybody gets credit. Uh, this is a world save I'm working on, but, so I wanted to make sure that if I use somebody's builds that, you know, they get credit. Um, but this is really a world save made from the community. Um, and so I wanted to have that master list for everybody to access. Uh, so if you know if you really like this build and you want to see what else they've created that there's a way you can do that um, in some in some instances you could go into build mode and save it and it will show you the the creator's name um, in other instances I have uploaded it so it will say my name um, just through the way that uh, I have worked it when I've built it so uh, that is why I have that master list is so that if you're using this world save that 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 they get credit for it because that's really important to me I don't want to claim this is all my own like I want to give credit where credit is due uh, but is this is the world save that I want to play in like I basically created the ultimate world save for me and um, you know a lot of people who aren't builders I know like to have um world saves it just it saves them a lot of work it makes the worlds fresh and new for them and so I'm you know happy to have that for folks all right he is still just watching tv what is she doing she is playing sim shuffle so I think we're gonna head out on another excursion um we're gonna shake it up a little bit we're gonna shake it up a little bit we're gonna have her be the excursion leader um we have had Kano be the leader all these times her rock climbing skill isn't quite as good as his he's a level 10 he is done and all he's been to the mountaintop um, but we're going to change it up just to make things a little bit interesting I think it was from last time we'll say that last time she was so ticked off with him that they didn't complete it that she's like nope this this time I'm going to be in charge of this and we are going to make it like that is that is what's happening. So, you know, story wise, that is she is taking control. She is taking charge. She does not want to fail again. Um, so it looks like I thought something I find interesting is that you have to start at this onsen lot uh, in order to access the um, the hike, the climb. So I wonder if I changed up this lot and like made this next door a lot to the onsen for example would we start there uh i'm not sure so the other thing is again we this weather is not looking promising it is really not uh maybe we will cheat the weather and see if that affects things so i have to go to i don't have mcc uh, command center right now Otherwise, I could do it that way, but I do have um, the Twisted Mexi weather cheat, or all cheats, which you can alter the weather that way. So we're going to do that. I haven't tested this, so hopefully it doesn't like crash the game or anything. And we want snowy. I still want snowy. I think I'm a little bit worried about if I change it too much that I won't snow heavy freezing nope not snow heavy freezing snow there isn't like I wanted a snow sunny sunny 
I'm so scared of putting the wrong thing in and making making the game like not happy. So here we'll try this one. Snow light freezing. See if that does the trick. So we do have our needs cheat. Uh, we've cheated the needs so they shouldn't be disabled other than I know when you make that first part of the climb uh, that it like ja you know your energy level just shoots down um, and even when I had their needs cheated like to stay full bars uh, that happened so that's just that's just part of doing the climb so I was thinking if we have some food in the inventory um, although isn't there like a special like energy bar or something uh, I'm not so good at the gameplay. I am definitely a builder. I definitely prefer building. Um, and so a lot of this is definitely new to me. Um, is there a computer here somewhere? So I wanted to say if he could order, order supplies or something uh, as one of the options I can't remember it like it's in the back of my mind that there's like specific energy bars for doing things like that so let's check where is my here we go I'm getting all my I'm still getting used to this world too where everything is um, he's right here let's see what we got uh, so this is the semi bits and baubles yeah let's try that one he was ready to climb up the mountain he had already had that in his queue he's like automatically like okay I'm ready to climb let's do this so it's not in here um I'm trying to remember where I saw that. We're not going to buy anything, but what we are going to do is we're going to equip them with their climbing gear. Again, I forgot to do that last time, and that's not great. Equip climbing gear. It seems to be in good repair. I don't know what happens if you try and climb with out good gear that would be a good experiment but not one I want to do again like my goal right now is I want to get into that cave I've cheated their relationship so that they are you know in a relationship together I am doing everything I can I want to check out the woohoo in that cave and uh, the weather was just not in our favor last time she does not need to shower we're going to teleport her up here too hopefully so he is on it uh, have any okay so we are going to one time climb attempt climb she is going to also climb uh, normally we're going to move on they're not even up the wall and the game thinks that we are ready so I'm taking advantage of it totally taking advantage of it That was pretty funny, actually. Okay, so is this the one that has... No, I think it's one more section before we have the cave. So this is where I was just talking about how... Okay, so they had full green bars, and this... They just tank this, like, the game. That was a really hard climb, apparently, because you're energy needs go super down um, but we'll be cheating those I'm not worried again we are just trying to get to that cave that is our priority I'm not doing legit gameplay here um, I already did the legit gameplay last weekend and that was really fun I had a lot of fun I recommend if you don't like don't do it without cheats it was it was kind of hard actually um, just because I went with green bars for everything and then that happens and I was kind of thrown for a loop and everybody kind of had a rough time, um, which I like. The Sims, a lot of times, is too easy. Um, so it was nice to see that they 
had a hard time. I enjoyed seeing that. Maybe I'm just weird and like torturing my sims, but a one time climb cautiously just because I want to see. And he is going to one time climb normally. The courageous one, I know they have to do at the other one. So we're going to watch her. She is doing the climb cautiously. Uh, I think I didn't watch that she equipped her gear, but I think I think she did. Uh, so let's hope. Let's have our fingers crossed. Uh, oh, I can just check right here. Okay, so she's wearing that. Kano made it no problem. And he celebrates when he gets to the top. Uh, again, I know you guys who are watching, I just realized that my sound is not coming through for you guys, which is unfortunate because he just gave this awesome shout out in celebration of making it to the top. Uh, but I will be looking into that for tomorrow. Um, I can't, my game sound isn't even an option in my uh, soundboard, so I have to figure that out and figure out how to get that there. Teleport here, teleport here. And this was not the one with the cave. Yeah, it was the third segment. So we're going to move on. Let's see how things go. See if that cave is open or not. It is the. I should have saved right there and see if it would have been any different if we go multiple times. We didn't check the mountain weather either. I didn't. I'm not sure how you do that. Guys, there's a lot I don't know. I played through the gameplay once and darn, it looks like it's frozen over again. Uh, that's a bummer. So you know what? We, <laughs> we are going to end this. We're going to come back a little later. And now he's going to be frustrated with her now because we had a failed mountain climb. So we're going to try this one more time. We're going to let a little time pass. Um, let's see what sentiments we got. I got to feed my cats. So I'm going to get up and get some lunch. Um, I would think that they would have some sentiments. Yes. So now they are both uh, bitter and resentful at each other for having this failed a mountain climb which is hilarious so now I guess the next time they're going to have to fight it out for who is going on this who's going to be the excursion leader maybe they should bring somebody else to be the excursion leader they might they might fight about that so um, we are going to travel back to home uh, I am going to take a quick break um, feed my cats and uh, get some lunch for myself so I encourage you, this is a great time for you to get up and stretch, get anything to eat or drink. Um, and I will be back. I am going to uh, run a quick ad for you all just because we want to get that out of the way. Um, and then I will be back and we will try this again. I'm going to save my game right now. Uh, yeah, so we're going to save this again. Uh, we're going to try this again. See if we can get that ice cave to open up. I might do a little Googling to f figure out if there's any certain conditions that need to happen to try and make this happen rather than... This is our third try uh, trying to get this cave, uh, access to this cave that's iced over. So um, I will be right back, guys. Uh, stick around.
All right, guys, a welcome back. A welcome back. I am just chatting. Wow, this is really close up today. It's a close up, close up today. I had to get my lunch. I had to feed my cats. Um, looks like my microphone's a little bit too close and too loud for y'all. Um, so I'm going to be eating a little lunch here. I don't really like to eat on stream, but I think it's just something I'm going to have to do with the way the timing works. Uh, I have medications I have to take around, I have to take with my lunch. Um, and so if I'm streaming, um, this is just the way it's going to have to be, and I'm just going to have to accept that. So um, that is the reality of life, I guess. Oh, I got a new follow. Let me see. Co co -e co co care -e nerd. I don't even know how to say that. I apologize. If you are still here, welcome on in. Thank you so much for that follow. I will ask um, if you have a preferred nickname or preferred pronouns. You can let me know. It's not required, but if it's something you would like uh, me to address you by correctly, then absolutely let me know, and um, we will get that uh, entered in. Um, just checking my settings. Every time I take a break, I have to like get reorientated and make sure all my screens are up the right way. You guys can see my game all right, things like that. So, um, let me see here. Got my game. I was going to Google on break. Sorry, I'm going to start eating. I apologize. Um, so it's going to be a little hard to talk and eat, which is why I don't like doing it on stream. Uh, but we're going to get our game going. Again, we're just trying to let some time pass. Uh, we just had our third excursion to the mountain. I'm trying to access that hidden cave. Um, and it was the first time I it was open. And I was so focused on getting up to the top to build. Because it was the last uh, lot we had to build for our uh, save file. And so we did that and we just passed it. Uh, but then the next two times I went back, it's been iced over. So we're going to just let some time pass. Uh, I was going to Google after I'm done eating to see if there's any certain set of circumstances that need to happen. Um, so that's the plan. So we're going to just watch our Sims while I am eating my lunch, see if anything interesting happens. Right now they just returned from that third botched attempt um, of trying to get into that ice cave. So they they botched the entire mountain climb. They decided, heck, we can't get in those caves. Uh, I'm not going to stand around here and wait for you guys. Uh, wait for the other one. Okay, the dog is... She just took him up for a walk before we left. But why don't we go ahead and do that? She's going to lecture him about barking. And then we are going to pet care. Go for a walk. Go for a jog. Akeno, he is going to serve mac and cheese. Apparently he is really hungry. She is also really hungry, but we're going to take the dog for a walk. It might prove for a little interesting jog around the world. So this was an NPC, and she came with really cute outfits. I don't know if she was like a sim that lived in the city, maybe. So she wasn't a true NPC. So I know there's walking trails you can do around this town, too. And I've only done some of them. Oh my gosh. So there is the um, mascot, the Mount Komarabi mascot. I'm just out going for a walk. You know, this game sometimes is so entertaining. Again, just checking out the surrounding world, waiting for some time to pass so we can go on that mountain excursion again. Mostly while I eat my lunch, because I have meds I need to take. So 
So here is that center uh, where the festival happens by that statue. Is this the train station? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I haven't seen the train station that was in the trailer. Um, do we have a train? I have not seen that and I need to look for that, I guess. I thought it so odd that they had made such a, you know, they really like focused on that for the scene at, at on the trailer and it's not even, like you can't, can't even interact with it. I was hoping that maybe we would be able to click on it and say like, go to travel, like even travel. Like if we could click on the train and it would have a little pop-up that said travel, that would be something. Um, it would just be maybe a different way to do it than using your phone. Like... I, even that, like we should be able to do that in my opinion. I'm sorry if I'm chewing in your ear. If you can hear that, I bet it's pretty loud actually. Looks like it is really loud. In my monitor, I can see it. Maybe I'll mute it. If some of you like listening to me chew, that could be its own form of entertainment, I suppose. If you don't like it, feel free to turn it down. How about that? That way we have all of our cover bases covered. Let's check out and see what Kano's doing. He's at the computer. This is why I don't like computers, is Sims are always on the computers. He's practicing programming, which I don't recall them doing autonomously before. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm Like I said, I'm a builder, not a gameplay person, though I do usually try the gameplay. That's not exciting at all. <laughs> With a cute outfit on the dog. Walking by the pizza delivery guy. She's got to be starving by now. She's been running this whole time and hasn't gotten any more hungry, but I think we are going to go on the mountain excursion. Maybe at noon we'll try it. Just a little, little time pass. Maybe I should wait like 24 hours. I don't know, but we're going to just keep giving it a try because I really want to check it out. Oh my goodness. I did it again. They're mountain gear is still on. Apparently it's still in great condition. Even though she went jogging in it, it's still in great condition, guys. Don't worry. She um, needs to eat. He made more than one serving. So she's going to grab a serving. He's just standing around. I'm not sure why he's just standing around. Sometimes Sims can be so hilarious, but sometimes it's like, what 
are you doing? What are you doing? Like, what is she doing? So we'll wait for her to finish eating. And then we're going to go on that excursion again. Apparently she can't use her phone. Maybe he can use his phone. Maybe it's because she's eating right now. So we're going to press our luck again and try a fourth time. They already are bitter and resentful. Kano's making the call, so he is... He was going to be the leader. Remember last time she was like, okay, we failed once. I'm going to be the leader this time. Well, that didn't pan out so well either, so. All right, we have our custom onsen again. Um, for this world save that I've created, this is my world save uh, that I'm really excited to start playing in. Teleport again. We're not we're not uh, doing the legit gameplay here. We just want to get up to that cave. Um, I did save it right when it was open, and then I saved over it accidentally. So I'm kicking myself right now. Um, actually, I want to, I know there's a little map or something where you can check the mountain conditions because I'm wondering if that can give me a clue as to what, um, might need to happen up there in order for the cave to be accessible. Check mountain conditions. Fair. The snow is currently perfect for general use. It's a good time to participate in outdoor activities. So we have fair right now. She's going for it. She's climbing already. She doesn't even have her gear on, does she? No. Well, I hope she does okay. Without gear. Again, if you're just joining us, I apologize for eating in your ear, chewing in your ear. It's lunchtime. I need to take my meds. I have to eat some stuff. I have to eat some calories so I can take my meds. Move on. That's a problem with having a microphone like two inches from my face, if even that far, is that <laughs> you're going to hear everything I do. I'd like to get another mic. I actually have a, ni a nice microphone, but um, it's a vocal mic for, for vocal for singing. Um, so it's not necessarily the best for streaming, but... Um, Repair? What is that? Teleport here. 
repair. Earbuds <laughs> have been added to his inventory. He got he climbed up the mountain, guys, and he got earbuds. He found somebody's earbuds just laying up there. Why? This game, why? <laughs> it's so funny sometimes. And he's fixing something? I don't know what he's fixing. I should have saved first. Oh yes, we're going to cheat their needs because this is where they tank. The energy needs tank right here. And since I'm not doing actual gameplay, we're just going to we're going to call it good. Uh, we have to climb up the rock wall as one of our tasks, so we're going to have her do that. She was on her way to do it, but we're just going to do it the quick way. Um, climb courageously. I don't know that I want to take a risk, but we're going to. We're going to. Hopefully nobody dies. I'm kind of scared of that. I should have saved beforehand, right? Save. She is. Oh, she's not wearing her gear yet, is she? Oh, my God. This could be, this could be bad, guys. Oh, look at this. We have some um, spirits. Some forest spirits. So first things first, we are going to equip her with our climbing gear because that was a little nerve-wracking. And then she's going to make a wish. I don't know that I want to collect them. That seems... <sighs> I don't think forest spirits would like to be collected. Making a wish hopefully seems innocent enough. She's in a flirty mood now. The friendly forest spirit seems happy with Anaya's wish. A strange a strange tinge of magical energy seeps into Anaya, filling her with a positive aura. Forest spirits are so sweet. Yes, they are, apparently. Maybe they get mad if you try and catch them. Oh, so this was the sign that they needed, it looks like, in order to uh, meet. Like, it's the uh, trail marker. So he needed to fix that first. And then they can meet up there. So let's have her go here. Very slowly. I'm going to mute you guys for a second. All right, so we made it past that. That's good. That was kind of the first hurdle, um, was that we had to fix the sign, I guess. Have a sim arrest for at least an hour. Well, they're giving us the option to move on. Uh, this isn't the area with the cave. I am going to save right here. I don't know if we move on uh, repeatedly, if that would generate a different result. Like if we go back to this point, will it be different every time or will it be the same since we're leaving from the same point? I guess that would be an experiment too. All right, so we have really crappy weather up here, which I think means um, it's gonna be frozen over. Okay, so failed attempt number four, guys. This is getting this is getting ridiculous. Failed attempt number four. So we are going to have to end it again. P 
potato plant. So there are some things to do. Like I said, the blackberries. I read about the blackberries. I haven't seen any blackberries. Not that I've been looking. There's a blackberry. Harvest all. We'll have him harvest all. But in the end, we are going to be uh, quitting this excursion because that ice cave is... Who knew? There's blackberries all over and I didn't see it before. I guess I wasn't looking for them, so um, that is the fun of that. So yeah, she's going to collect those blackberries and then she's going to be like, great, we didn't do it again, let's go home. I'm going to have to give it another try later. really exciting. This is something I might have to like go and do offline because if it's going to be this hard, you know what guys, let me just Google it too for a second. Oh, we have a thunderstorm up there. Um, yeah, so we encountered the forest spirits. You can woohoo in the cave if it's open, apparently. Drink from the mountain spring again if it's open. And the player can build on the hidden lots. So we did that already. Um, even the event page seems too mundane. While there might be uh, additional things for Sim to explore while they're getting their faces snow blasted, trekking a mountain isn't supposed to be a TikTok tick box exercise. So this review that I'm reading is not too happy with this. So we get to see this weather. I do have it saved that we can exit out if we have to. Um, so yeah, I'm not having a great time finding any information on uh, how to get up that hill. He's sleeping. He passed out. He's like, screw this. She's like, okay, let's go home. We failed again. We didn't make it. Because there's an social event. Oh, yeah. So we have to cancel that first. Let's see what moodlet she got. Sad. A few thousand feet short. So they were super close. Mountains of regret from feeling guilty around someone nearby. Lack of leadership. So since Kano was the leader of this trip, she is angry. She's like, fine, let's just go home again. We keep trying. We keep attempting this and we keep failing. So. We're going to go hang out at the onsen. Since we've already been hanging out at home for a while. We're just going to watch them do what they need to do. We need to take off their climbing gear. I remembered this time. She's very sad. He's embarrassed since he was the excursion leader. Like, this is not good. So we're just going to follow them around, see what they do while I finish eating. We're actually going to go on high speed. So if you're just joining us, we are trying to access the ice cave on the mountain. It has proven difficult. We've been there four times now. Um... And she's not doing anything. Let me just check to make sure I have autonomy off for the sim that is selected. That is why, guys. That is why they're not doing anything. Um, and 
So we're going to give it a little, we're going to let a little time pass again and see if maybe a change in the weather conditions or what, I'm not sure what it is that changes that caves, you know, cave from being iced over to being accessible. Um, we missed our chance the first time it was open, but I was so focused on getting to the top of the mountain to build since it was the last like lot of our save that we needed to do that I skipped it. Um, and now we've been back three times, so four in total, and it's been ice over every single, every other th time. So we're going to try a fifth time. This is getting kind of redundant. Also, while I'm eating... So guys, I'm aware that you have no um, audio of the game. Uh, that is something I have to look into. Uh, I don't know why that is, but I, it's not even showing on my sound uh, board that I have to check the audio. And so I have to figure out how I can get that added. A Kano is, they're just literally hanging out in the indoor onsen. Do we have their need needs cheated? It looks like maybe we do. He's gonna make some bar drinks, build some skills. Again, mostly this is just to let me eat my lunch, one, and two, to let some time pass, so we're gonna try and attempt that climb again. And he's back in the onsen. Why don't we... To make things get a little more interesting... Enable needs decay. We're going to enable that just so they hopefully do a little bit more while I'm trying to finish my lunch. And then we can cheat them back when I'm ready to go. <clears throat> so interesting I was thinking maybe a whole day this time like last time we let like 12 hours pass this may not be the perfect um, time to do this on stream because it's not very interesting watching everybody sit around in the onsen for hours because that's all they've done so far she's singing but even you guys can't hear that so um We'll try it again. We'll try it again. Uh, we're going to look up that cheat again. For the Twisted Mexi weather. I should have left it open, but I was hoping we wouldn't need to do it again. Oops. And I think we did last time, uh, we did snowy light freezing. Well, 
why don't we try you know what we got nothing to lose at this point let's try if it breaks my game we can always try something else okay let's wait for a while and see if this takes effect um Where is everybody? Again, I don't, I think maybe early in the morning. Last time we went, it was like around noon. So why don't we wait till that? Um, so then it will be like 24 hours. She was outside shoveling in her swimming suit. Mm-hmm. Makes total sense, guys. So it's the lottery. We are going to play the lottery because it's kind of like, why not at this point? Because we're having no luck with the uh, gaining access to the mountain cave. So why not uh, play our lottery? Because maybe we'll win the lottery. So that way we have two things to look forward to. So this is a another lot that I picked from the gallery t for my world save. Um, I love it. It's the it replaces the onsen in game. It is an onsen. Um, she went to work. Okay, well that's gonna put a damper on things. Maybe we'll try and no because I wanted to see if we could woohoo. So we have to have her with. So we might bring her home from work early. All right, leave work early. And at this point, they are going to take turns. Um, it's not gonna let me bring her home. Leave early. No, it won't. Well, that put its, puts a damper on that. So we're gonna just speed through. She's done at three. Okay, we can wait for that. We can wait for that. Because I don't know. Maybe there is a cheat that you can, like, bring them here or whatever, but... Or maybe if he starts an excur excursion and chooses her, maybe it will... Uh, she'll come with, too. So... I guess that's a possibility. We'll give it a try. That's how you learn things in the game, is just by trying. So that's the plan. Mountain excursion. So he's going to be the leader. She is going to... Okay, so it looks like... Yes. <laughs> Again, it could also just screw up your game. Um, because now uh, she is at work. Uh, but she's not. So the excursion has check climbing members readiness. Rock climbing, do pre-stretching. Pre ah, uh, because he does have to
um, have a sim perform any warm up ex exercise to warm up. So that is the plan here. Oh, this is so hard to try and get, I hate when we have to do this and like trying to get a certain thing to happen and sometimes it won't. And again, I don't know the cheat. There might be a cheat. There might be. Um, I don't know them though, so. Hopefully at three o'clock she'll be home. All right. We can now. Um, why can't I go this way? We're going to check the mountain's conditions. Um, it said fair last time, so I'm thinking maybe that might have something to do with it. I see. So we won't be going now. Meanwhile, we'll have him do some snowboarding. High intensity together. Because at least that's interesting to watch for you guys. Well, I'm still trying to finish my lunch. With Brussels sprouts in my teeth. So they do um, just do that teleport animation through the ski lift. Which I'm mostly okay with. Oops. So he is, I can't remember which slope I picked, but it looks like a not too interesting one. Oh, this is the baby one. So let's, let's go down at least. Uh, we'll do skiing ex expert uh, continuously high intensity together. So she climbed the rock like, oh, they're still on their excursion. They're still on their excursion. Um, it will time out. She's going to be furious with him again. So that's fun. We still have the lottery to look forward to. Failed yet again. So next time we're going to check those conditions. So this is my tips that I've learned. Check the conditions of the mountain. If you're trying to get into the cave anyway. Uh, of the mountain weather. Before you go. And I don't know how often they change. That's the other thing. Oh, so the other thing is he, there was something about recording a video, which I haven't done that. Um, I don't know how to do that. So we should figure that out too. Uh, just because I haven't seen anybody talk about that. Um, prepare for this moment. So he's doing far more interesting moves on this track uh, than the beginner one. Which is to be expected. It's a lot of fun. Those animations are so fun to watch. And let's see where she's at. She is still up on the mountain. She's going to have to one time attempt to climb. 
Oh. Oops. She's up there singing. She's she's up there singing. We'll watch her climb down. Again, mostly as an excuse for me to eat. Mute. All right, we're gonna have her. Again, we're gonna check those mountain conditions. I don't know how often they change. Um, it is summer. We are uh, playing in the summer season. Maybe that makes a difference as well. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody speak about the different scenarios that uh, are factored into that cave being available or not. So we're going to have her check mountain conditions. So he checked it a handful of hours ago, and we're going to have her check it again, uh, just so I can get a gauge of how often it changes or if it stays pretty stable. I see. So it was the same as, so I'm wondering if maybe it's a daily situation uh, that changes. And that could be. So we're going to actually head home um, just to try and get this to change up. Sometimes it can be when you're like have a specific goal in mind, this game can be really tricky to try and get it to do what you want. Uh, and I don't know if there's a way to cheat the uh, mountain available or not. So we're just going to fast forward uh, while we wait for... I'm, I'm wondering if it's daily that that conditions change. So he has sore feet. He used loner equipment. I forgot this isn't my original save. So even though he's a character that I have developed and played with for a while, um, it's literally not the same one. So... I assume, like, in the back of my mind, the other guy had purchased his own gear. Uh, he shouldn't end up with any of that, you know, sore feet or anything, but I forgot. So, <laughs> the dog is just walking around in his his outdoor gear. It can be really ridiculous. So let's see, we're going to go back, check tomorrow, uh, see what that sign tells us, because that could be, again, the critical point of uh, why it is, of how, when it changes. So um, if not, we're going to move on, and I think I'll maybe do this uh, in my own time rather than, oh, look, Vlad has arrived. The dog has attacked him, which I'm okay with. I'm not going to scold him for that. This dog, let's see what his, can I see his personality traits? Smart, aggressive, loyal. Um, so it's that aggressive that must be that he attacked Vlad. But, you know, nobody likes a random vampire showing up to your house at 1 a.m. So not very interesting. All right, we are going to travel again. Again, I'm just playing some, doing some experiments here. Again, I will probably, if this time doesn't work, it doesn't give me information, and then we are probably going to just go on. I've been thinking about doing a build. Um, I am primarily a builder, so maybe, you know, somebody who's more familiar with gameplay would know the answers to this already. Um so there's that. I'm learning. At least I'm learning is kind of what I'm getting out of it. 
So it is another day, barely. It's a 1 a.m. And let's have them go over here, see if it's still icy. So is it related to the day? Is it related to the weather that's going on? I really don't know. Um, check mountain conditions. And if I had uh, the cheat, like if I had MC Command Center, I could just cheat the days. But okay, so we have a fair. Um, I'm not okay with that. So we are going to actually take a quick break. I think we're going to switch gears. I've been doing this for an hour now and we just have had no luck. Um, so that is my plan. I can finish eating. I'm going to run a quick ad and, uh, then we're going to, then we're going to switch gears, I think, just because this is, this is becoming tedious for me and I'm sure you as well. So, um, I will be right back guys.
All right, guys. Welcome on back in. We are going to get going here. Um, switching gears. Although I really want to keep going. Um, I really want to see what we uh, come up with with this uh, cave. Oh my gosh, I did it again. <laughs> that close-up screen. I'm going to have to figure something else out for that. Uh, just getting myself readjusted here. My headphones are sitting too far back. Every time I sit back down, it's like I got to readjust everything. I have my blanket on. It's a big, heavy sweater kind of day here. It's cold here. Um, I'm sitting in my office chair with a blanket on. Got to get comfy. And so that is what we are doing, just settling in again. Um, again, welcome back. I am Emily Blue Jay, and we are just playing The Sims. Uh, nothing too exciting uh, out of the ordinary other than um, trying to get up the mountain and uh, have had no luck, and I'm really not sure why. So... It's been a little bit frustrating for me. I don't know about you, but I finished eating my lunch. I kind of chowed the rest of it down, so I don't have to be chewing in your ear anymore. Um, so w right now, let me just tell you guys, we are working on my world save. Um, oops. What would the... I have to look up the command. <laughs> I created some commands, but I don't... Um, I don't always remember them. My memory is not so great. So, you know, streaming for me might be a little bit more difficult than for a lot of people. Um, just because my memory is poor. And today I knew I was having some issues with feeling a little bit dizzy. Um, not anything bad, but uh, when that happens, my memory or my focus is usually compromised a little bit. So I knew today it might be a little more difficult um, remembering those types of things. And I'm still not seeing what I was looking for. World save. I have a world save, but I think that's not the one. So I'm working on a, I have a world save, but since we added Mount Komarabi and Batu, I have updated it. Um, so if I give you the link here, it would be to the old one and I'd rather you have the new one. Um, which all I have to do is finish, um, doing the eco footprints. So that is a plan. Um, I was thinking I wanted to start building too. Um, I haven't done a build with Snowy Escape. I haven't done any building um, since it came out. So uh, as, as a builder, primarily a builder, um, that's kind of strange. Uh, I do have a new speed build coming out on Sunday and um, Looking forward to that, but it's not Japanese themed. It is not uh, snowy themed. It is was for a uh, Retha Sim fantasy save, so it is a fantasy save. I do a lot of or fantasy build, rather. I do a lot of fantasy builds. So um, this is my build world here. We are going to build in Snowy Escape, I think. Uh, I just got to pull up my reference pictures. Um, I had some idea. I look at Pinterest a lot for some ideas. Um, and let's see here. I have to find all my pins. Nope, that's not it. Snowy Retreat. Um, is this it? Yes, this is it. Okay, guys. We got that pop, uh, pulled up. And what I was thinking was, let me switch over to my, we're going to put it over here, actually. Uh, we are going to, I think, build in Mount Komarebi. Um, I want to say maybe that so that's snow all the time. Let me look at that reference picture one last time uh, to see what I think. I don't think I want it in the snow. So 
I don't think we're going to do that. We'll build in this one down here. Uh, first we have to evict them. Um, actually, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Because I play with tool, or I build with tool, um, then you need actually a family to, like, you need to be able to go into live mode. And so, um, I need a, I need a sim actually living in that lot. Ah, we'll throw him in there. This is his house now. Oops. Um, free real estate on. Bulldoze lot. Because we're going to bulldoze it to build anyway. The other thing I needed to do was open my OBS. Since I am going to be making a speed build. Okay, OBS is already running. Uh, game capture. Let's see if it'll recognize it. That might be the issue. So I'm going to have to work on the settings. We are not going to do a build right now, but what I wanted to do was see if um, see if this was too big or not. And I don't know. Let me look at my reference photo again. Uh, I think maybe we will start building um, tomorrow on stream. I've not done a build on stream before and being I am primarily a builder I think that's probably what I'll mostly do. Um, the gameplay was really only because of uh, the, the fact that the pack came out right now and previous to that I was showing you all my uh, world save so again that's kind of along like it's more along in the builders route of things. Uh, we're going to filter by pack. I just want to look at the build items uh, from Snowy Escape to see if I can approximate what I want to um, with that. And so we have Snowy Escape. We have um, content, live edit, and debug on. So Rock-wise, we have a handful of new rocks. Um, I do want to build something. Okay, so this is a snow-covered rock. Um, I don't know that I, like I said, if that I want snow-covered rocks uh, for this. And it would look kind of strange because right now everything is not covered in snow. Um, so that is not the, and the reason I don't want to build in the snow is because I want the roofs to be uh, able to be seen. Um, I don't want them covered in snow. And so even though we have these lovely snow colored covered rocks, um, do we have, we do have versions that are not snow covered. So I think we'll be using these. Um, and I do think just look based on the size of these that I will be using this large lot. Um, I think that just with the drama of the of the build that I want to create, uh, we are going to use this lot. It's not going to be too big. So that is my plan for tomorrow. We're going to start that. Right now, I don't have the capability of recording uh, for my speed builds, since I also do the speed builds. Um, so we're going to save that, because that's where we'll be starting when we build tomorrow. Um, and then we are going to... Uh, go back, let's see, my brain is not working right now. Back to main menu. We just saved, so we don't need to save again. And I'm going to go back into my world save. Um, and we're just going to start editing the eco footprints. Um, you know, if I'm going to spend the time playing the game and there's not too many... Uh, active chatters, I am, might as well go ahead and do that. Um, so what I'm doing when I do that is uh, we're going in and changing the ego footprint, so I'm going to have to uh, pull that up, those cheats. Sims 4 eco 
footprint cheat. And then I enter it into each of the neighborhoods. Um, of course it doesn't stay because it's based on the building materials that you use, um, things like that. So like right now we're going to go, I, I wonder if I read somewhere that there's a bug uh, with the eco footprint. So we're going to go in here and we're going to check it out. Oops, they're on the peak. They're on the peak. On the very peak, they are on the very peak. So this is the one where, can we go backwards? We can't go backwards, we just have to end the excursion. So this is where we started today, building on this lot, and I'm kicking myself now that we didn't do the caves at that time because they were open. Um, so we're gonna end this excursion. They're gonna have awesome happy moodlets because they, and they won 300 bucks apparently for um, for completing the mountain excursion. So that's fun. So they're gonna head back home and we're gonna work on changing the eco footprints. Again, this is for the world save. We're gonna head back home. And so all I'm doing is for each of the neighborhoods, uh, since this world save was ideally created for like rags to riches, I made a like an extreme rags to riches um, challenge. Then I want to have dumpsters in every lot because that uh, it hinges on that. And let me get my... So we're going to enter in the cheat for the eco footprint to be green. Again, as I started to say, but was rambling and uh, totally forgot is that, uh, forgot my train of thought, is that um, we have to enter it in. We have to enter dumpsters. As you, as you can tell, my brain is all over the place right now. Doing too many things at once. Um, and we might as well do that. Just check out, you guys will be able to see each of the neighborhoods. Um, I know I did that earlier on stream, but on previous streams, like uh, that's how I kind of got used to uh, streaming was that I was showing you guys around the rest of the worlds and um, RGR Gaming, hello, welcome on in. How are you doing? Um, we are, it's... It, it's, I'm a little um, embarrassed to have you in the chat, but um, we are, I'm just rambling to myself really is what's going on. Uh, that's what's really going on, if I'm honest. And I thought there was a bug uh, with the eco footprint in Mount Komorabi neighborhoods. Um, I read somewhere, I don't know if that's true or not, but we are trying to alter that to see if that is actually accurate. I'm trying to place dumpsters. Um, don't hate me, you're awesome. <laughs> oh, oh, don't. I thought ha ha said hate. Um, thank you. You're awesome. Um, yes, so yesterday I was streaming. I think you saw that on the Twitter, uh, is that we were showing off some of your builds. Don't be, you're awesome. Oh, I appreciate that so much. Um, I have such uh, great, awesome people who come in here and... Um, are so supportive of my getting started streaming because uh, I am I am definitely a newbie and not afraid to admit it, um, and that's okay. So right now we are just uh, we are just putting dumpsters in all the worlds, editing the eco footprints. This is for my world save file. And yesterday, uh, like I was saying, is that we did use a couple of your builds, um, and that I was showing that off to folks and. Um, it was really a couple of your builds, uh, the, which one did we use? Well, I used the SNASA one that's in, um, let's see, uh, with the world that came with eco lifestyle, my, my brain, I'm a little bit shook by you being here, um, if I'm honest. And, uh, then we used another one. I can't remember who. I'm not going to bother to look, but we used a couple of your builds in this world save, and I was giving you credit for it because uh, I have a master list of all the people whose builds I've used, and I definitely uh, present that when I am 
um, telling people about this world save. So it's really important that the creators get um, get credit. And you know, I love uh, sharing information about the community, and that's really important to me. So here we are, Evergreen. Yes, Evergreen Harbor. Thank you so much. My my memory today, especially. Um, it has not been good. But that's something, that's just a challenge that I have. It's very consistent and I just have to learn to work with it. And, you know, I don't want that to stop me from doing what I love and, you know, making a, a community um, on Twitch. I'm like very, very honest that I can't have a consistent schedule um, just with the things that I have to deal with. And that's just the reality of it. And trying to use tool while I am talking <laughs> is not is is a lot harder than I thought it would be uh, because it's math. Like I'm trying to think of math here, basically. And um, yeah, so I'm glad you stopped in. It's kind of like I'm a little bit uh, in have a celebrity here, basically. So I I look up to you and look up to your builds um, and your videos and your content. Uh, you know. It's, definitely an inspiration for me so um, it's I'm honored to have you here and come and say hi so right now yep just talking to myself oh dear did I do negative or positive uh, 10 nah normal guy yeah I mean yeah like I have met um, a handful of celebrities in real life and you know I definitely try and approach them as their people like they're people who you know do everything that I do and that everyone does so um so yeah definitely a normal guy but also you know not just a normal guy so we have the eco footprint we have the dumpsters so I'm going to travel to the next neighborhood um And let's see if it did. So actually it did work. So wherever I read that, um, it must not be accurate because it is showing here. Uh, we are going to go ski your gear store. That's the one I think I was saying was yours. So as long as you're here, I'll show it to you. I renovated it. Um, we used the same structure, basically. Um, when I downloaded it, I didn't see in your when I watched your speed build. Um, this, basically this section over here was nothing. Um, and I think, now I'm not orientated correctly. Or was it over here? You would know what I meant. Anyway, we basically expanded the the gear here uh, to make it into a, oh nice, you expanded it. Yes, exactly. I expanded it, expanded it. Um, kept basically, you know, your, the basic setup, but then added some kind of more merch tables here. Um, and that's really all I did. Like I kept the outside, you know, the same. Um, didn't really change much to that. But we were looking, we were touring all the lots through uh, Mount Komorabi um, yesterday. And then we, I did clean this out because I didn't have it. It's a retail, it's like, I have it set as a retail shop and I didn't want to have, like, that's going to be storage and stuff. So related to the retail shop, but I loved this build. Um, I wanted to have it, you know, I, I have, I come from a retail background. And so uh, in this world save, I have tons and tons of retail stores. And through my gameplay, I like to travel there rather than buy everything by computer. So if my sim needed a snowboard, they probably wouldn't go to the vending machine. They would come here and buy a snowboard, and that's how I like to do gameplay. So, like, if my, you know, I have a child aging up to a teen, um, and I want to get him a computer for his birthday, I go to the electronics store, and I will buy the, the electronics rather than going into build mode and buying it. So, that way... I get out in the world. I feel like so often I'm playing and um, I don't use the world. Like we have these big, well, not so big in some cases, but we have all of these worlds. And when I'm playing, I don't end up in a lot of them. And so that was kind of the way I get myself out 
into the world one way and then the other way is I've created a lot of clubs in this world safe so a lot of the clubs will have meetings like our fisherman's club uh, I, meets at the aquarium that I have in Brindleton Bay or the um, I'm trying to think of something else you know like things like that where we get out and we use the worlds or like we have a history buffs club that meets at any library uh, or any museum <clears throat> So that's how we get out and about uh, like that. But I really, I really love this build. I really love the SNASA build. So we, uh, I definitely included that and have you uh, in the credits. So there is the credit list um, of everybody's lots. If you want to check that out or not, um, but I definitely speak about it every any time I promote this world save. If somebody wants it in their game, that list comes along with it. So. Um, so that everybody gets credit. This map came with no shops. I do find it weird. I thought so too. Like, <clears throat> it didn't feel, uh, it doesn't, like, having no retail shop is, seems weird to me. So in, uh, in this world, let's have him travel so I can show you. Um, we actually have only a handful of residential lots. Um, so we have a retail lot. We have a restaurant. That's the other thing is they didn't have a restaurant. And I was like, how do we not have a restaurant? Um, I changed this to a community space because it was a national park. Uh, again, I was thinking of that fisher, the fisherman's um, club meeting there. So we have a fishing pond there too. But because as a national park, they couldn't, I couldn't select for them to, um, to meet there specifically so I changed it into a community space just so they could meet there uh, we have a cafe uh, three residentials down here two residentials up here uh, karaoke bar like why didn't we have a karaoke bar I seems strange to me so oh that 50 by 50 built a resort that you can place for rent in this one here um, yeah and I only have one rental like I I didn't need more than one rental I guess if I have poor Sims, this is going to be kind of an expensive rental. But, um, you know, in my game, I'm just, I don't think we initially, until we can afford to go on vacation, since I'm doing like a regs to riches challenge, um, we won't be able to go afford to go on vacation very often anyway. So this one up here, we do have, can you see that? It's just out uh, in the way of my uh, open captioning there, but we do have a Mount Comer River Resort. I am praying that we get hotels, and then I would probably convert that to a hotel lot if that is ever on the agenda. Um, so we're going to just make this eco footprint green. Um, I'm primarily a builder, but um, again, the reason I put this together was because there are so many awesome builds. Fingers crossed for hotels, yes. Uh, there are so many awesome builds in the gallery, and uh, the Blackness89 just subscribed with Tier 1. Thank you so much for that subscription. That was my first subscription ever as an affiliate. I really appreciate that. You made my day, and you go down in history as uh, the first subscription I've had. So I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Um, that is really awesome and so sweet of you. You bet. Yeah. Um, I don't remember at all was that what I was saying, RGR. Um, <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, yeah. So I'm working on the world save, guys. Um, I'm like so... I'm so... You've s subscribed for three months in advance. Holy Hannah. Oh, wow. Um, I'm like actually teared up. That is amazing. That is amazing. Oh, my gosh. I'm not one to get emotional at all, but wow. Wow, that means a lot. That means a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm just working on the eco footprint and getting dumpsters in all the worlds because I personally am crazy about those dumpsters. Take a sip and keep going. A great, go, Doing great. Thank you. Uh, I love having the dumpsters. Like, that was a game changer. So I need to... Oh, it's a retail lot, so I can't freaking do it. Uh, we are going to travel to a different lot. 
But I wanted to show uh, RGR how I had renovated uh, that ski shop. Uh, he came out with an incredible build. Originally, it has like a apartment um, where Sims could live up there. And, um, but I didn't want to have that. I just renovated it to be like a flat out retail shop. So that is the plan. Um, my goodness, my goodness, guys, it's a day of overwhelming. So this is only my second day as an affiliate. I streamed yesterday for a few hours, a handful of hours. First day as an affiliate, I got my first bits yesterday. Okay, and now we have that glitch. So I don't know if you guys have run into this. Uh, I have really, oh, is that? Yeah, that is a glitch. I have been really hesitant being a builder with all the glitches that are happening. I haven't done a build yet with the snowy escape stuff. I haven't experimented with platforms uh, because even as doing gameplay, I am running into this kind of thing and that scares me. Like I, I don't know if my build's going to look like, I don't want to like, I do speed, speed build videos. And if I'm having glitches like that, that show up, uh, I don't know that my speed build would be you know, anything of quality that I would want to put out. So I don't know. So many times that glitch is driving me crazy. Yeah. Um, it's, it's kind of crazy actually. Uh, so I know that the, f is this where the festival generates? Yes. Yeah, so I have to really be careful where I put, uh, the dumpsters just because like in city living, I've discovered that, Sometimes I accidentally put them where things spawn. So I have to be really careful about that. Um, so just kind of scouting out a good spot of where I might put it. And can we walk over there? Yes, we can. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I was trying to get into the hidden cave early. Like, that's what <laughs> the first part of my stream was, is trying to get into that cave and get, you know, get some woohoo action going. And uh, I had no luck. We tried five times and failed. So I decided after an hour of, you know, doing that on stream that um, that was enough. And we had to kind of change gears. And, and there was no one here. Uh, no one, uh, there were people here, but they weren't chatting. So I decided I was going to um, go in and, and finish uh, doing the eco footprints of all the worlds. Um, I'm about half done. And as long as I'm spending time doing that, and then people can kind of see the overview of the buildings that we have. So that was my new plan of how to do that. And I think Mount, the Mount Komorabi area, or at least the snow covered area, I'm not going to, I'm just going to leave it a neutral footprint. Again, I am aware that because the buildings aren't necessarily green buildings, it will revert once you play. But when people launch into this uh, save, I want it to look a certain way. So, and then they can either choose to try and keep that eco footprint like that or not. So I think um, we are working on Brindleton Bay was the next one. So here is the save from Brindleton Bay. We will go here to alter that footprint. Not all of them are green. Um, <laughs> San Maishuno is all industrial. Um, so that is the plan that I have been you know, there's little pockets like in Windenburg. Um, there's pockets of green. There's pockets of industrial. Uh, I have an area that is all retail shops that um, is green or that is uh, that is the industrial just because there's a lot of traffic there kind of in my mind. I'm such a I'm such a like realistic person. <laughs> the, the Sims might not be the greatest game for me because um, I like envision things so realistically. So again, we just set that to green, whether or not it stays that way. And then we're going to go into build and get those dumpsters. So that's what I decided to do. Since we had not too many interactive chat goers, um, I wanted to, I do want to finish this world save so that we can post it. Uh, hopefully tomorrow in stream, I will have a link for everyone. Um, so that is the plan. That is the plan, Stan. Um, and then some worlds, it's really awkward to try and find where to put a dumpster. So I try and usually look for the 
outhouse. Um, sometimes I like to put two, but I think something like this, it's not um, necessarily appropriate to put two. Yeah, we're going to just do one in this neighborhood because I don't think we can access over here. Nope. So that's kind of how I am doing things. Um, again, this the reason this came to be was because I want to do a regs to riches build. Toggle active out. One of the dogs will run and crash into him that way. <laughs> yes. That is exactly right. Um, Again, putting like trying to put dumpsters, and that's why I had to do a lot of gameplay to kind of test out those festivals and see if things spawn there. Um, that is, that also has to happen. Just because I've I have that original world saved, but now I have to, I had to basically replace everything because I had. Um, I'm trying to remember why I did. I had a save. I really don't remember, but I basically started fresh um, just because when somebody launches this game, I don't want to have a lot of the in-game achievements completed. I want to have as few as possible just so they can still have those prompts. Um, Sim Catraz, let's see. There's nobody living there, but I should, because it's a museum, I think I should be able to edit it. Um, yeah, so that's why I... Um, I literally have no idea what I was saying. <laughs> so this one we're going to do industrial. Right now it's the prison. Um, it is set as a museum, but I do want it as a residential, actually. Uh, because I do have a family I want to move in here that are um, basically convicts. Like they're in the orange jumpsuit. And then I have a couple of detectives who live here as well. Like from the detective career they have their police uniform so I did create a family to live here uh, we are gonna do the industrial footprint two and then we are do I have a dumpster in here already since this is the only lot no um, let's see so we need to get a dumpster Again, just going to keep it simple, put it by the, um, the outhouse, or let's see, what do I want to do? I think I might put it here, tool toggle. Big fan of tool. Um, I use tool all the time. Oh, nice. I don't know what you said. What were you saying? Oh, nice to. Um, I don't know what you're saying nice to. Sorry. Rotate in 40, no, let's see, it's going to be, to rotate, again, clearly, I I might have to think double, like, think twice about, about the prison looking good. Awesome, thanks. Um, I might have to think twice about <laughs> trying to use tool and building on stream because, the math, like the fact that I have to do math when I'm doing so many things already at once. I'm still trying to get used to all the affiliate things. Um, that's new since yesterday. Uh, I have to create my emotes still. I, yeah, I have a lot that I have to do yet. Um, it's frankly, it's all a little bit overwhelming. I, I have been watching Twitch for a while. Uh, but I had no idea that it could be so... There's so much to it. There really is so much to it. Uh, and then trying to set up um, my uh, like my stream streaming uh, program to record too and not record like all the um, stuff that happens on Twitch, like my webcam and stuff, so I can edit it for a speed build. I have to figure out how to do that. So yeah, there's there's a lot to it. There is a lot. Uh, we change that footprint and so I think maybe we'll have this like we'll have this one neutral and then I'll have this one be what is this so that's the other issue I'm running into I don't know RGR if you have encountered this error at all but I've been having issues with the 
the lot types um, converting, basically. So in order, this used to be a park, in order to place this house, I went in, I placed it, or I might not have even went in, I might have just placed it from the gallery right onto here, and it's still rendering as a park. So, but the reality is, like it happened to me in Sulani, um, I converted to a residential home, I moved people in, then when I came back through game gameplay, oh my goodness, thank you for the follow, Kate Emerald. Oh, wow, how are you doing? Welcome on in. I was just I was just talking about some glitches that I'm having. We have RGR uh, gaming here, and um, he is definitely a very knowledgeable person and knows about a lot of the stuff that is out there. So we were talking about glitches, um, and I had converted a uh, place a lot to be residential ah the beloved glitches yes uh, converted a lot to be residential moved sims in visited through gameplay and it had reverted to whatever lot type is so i had to it actually happened on stream so i could find the specific details but um so there were people living there but it said like it was a park or something and um so i had to sell the business even though it wasn't a business and then my sim then I had to go back in and do it as a res so I'm having those issues where it's like okay it was it was the game thought it was a business but I had sims living there so um so that was really not a fun but I'm have I've been having that bu uh, bug quite a bit and I don't know if anybody else is I'm sorry and I'm not explaining it the best because I don't remember all the details but yes it is complicated and I've ran into it at least half a dozen times um, and so, yeah, that, um, that is where we're at. So we are just also, this is my world save that I created. Uh, we are editing the eco footprints, um, for all of the neighborhoods. Well, not all of them. Some of them are going to stay neutral, but some of them are not. And we are placing dumpsters because I am looking to use this world for a, basically a regs to riches uh, that I'm going to be able to play on, you know, on stream. And I really heavily rely on the dumpsters. And so that's kind of what we're doing. Um, and the, the challenge, it's like an extreme regs to riches. So I know a lot of folks who play the regs to riches, um, you can kind of dumpster dive all day. And in my, the challenge that I'm doing is kind of like extreme regs to riches. Um, you can only dive in each dumpster once per day. So that's why I'm trying to have at least two so that if we go to the effort of traveling, uh, we're gonna be able to dive to get at least two items. Um, sometimes it's only one, but that is my plan. And like I said earlier, I'm try so this yellow one can go here. Uh, again, it's a kind of a central park area. That makes sense. I think a lot of people would find it if they were using this world save and then here's another little park area that I'll put that one at but of course uh, when you're using tool you have to have a sim so we're just tra basically we're traveling the world with our sim um, and editing all of these neighborhoods that one's a little awkward because it seems like that would be a pass through so we're gonna we're gonna rotate that and just move it up along the side maybe or actually cancel we're gonna maybe put it here yeah I like that better so yeah how is everybody doing today um, I have <laughs> I have a couple of uh, kind of big names in my streams today it's a little intimidating like I said though I know you guys are just normal everyday people um, but also I admire both of you um, and so in that way, it is. I'm very honored to have you here. So we got that neighborhood all set. Um, and I think that's it for Brindleton Bay travel. I ha I was telling uh, RGR that I haven't built in. I haven't done any building since Snowy Escape came out because of all the glitches. I've seen you all dealing with it, um, and. I haven't experimented with platform, uh, well, maybe a little bit, but I haven't like a built, made a build that uses, utilizes the platforms, uh, just because I'm scared, uh, like I'm scared, I'll be frustrated. Um, 
So this one we are going to do the, um, so this is like my art town, arts and music. We have lots of um, like a recording studio, a music store, a karaoke bar, a movie theater, and then up here we have a music festival, uh, Plum Bob Studios, which my intention when I uh, play it is I'm going to switch out the different ones that come with the game. Uh, and then we have a spa. So that's kind of my idea of this um, of this world. So yes, I haven't done any building. I want to do some building, but um, I'm just really scared of all the glitches. And, um, you know, if I'm recording a speed, like if I'm doing it live, you would love it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if I'm trying to record while streaming, I haven't set that up yet either. And um, all right, so I have to figure out how to do that. Being an affiliate, I have to get my emotes. I don't have any emotes yet, and I'm really excited for that. Uh, but I am, I do have to do that. And, you know, finding an evening or whatever where I feel like I can sit down and do some emotes, draw some emotes. Uh, I know you could hire people to do that, but um, I'm going to at least try to do my own at first. Um, let me grab to do the eco footprint first. But so I've been kind of busying myself with stuff like this because I have been so hesitant to vote or t to vote to um, to build. So let's see here. Again, um, I don't think anything like populates in this world. So I think we're safe to put it wherever. Um, I can't remember where I had it before. I think I had them over here. Yes, I did. I had it over here. And then I'm discovering trying to use tool while talking <laughs> is kind of difficult, actually. Um, like the math that I have to do in my brain, which when I'm not trying to talk is is already complicated enough to trying to figure out angles and such. Uh, but then trying to like talk and have a totally a different con com conversation um, at the same time is definitely uh, it's definitely a lot for me. It's it's overwhelming, but in a good way, of course. Um, also, congrats on being affiliate. Thank you so much. It is, I, yeah, I feel like, kind of, I feel like I'm dreaming. Uh, that was the milestone that I had set for myself. I didn't really anticipate that I would become partner at any point. Um, who knows, though? I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. And if, you know, I get that many people in my stream at, at once, uh, that would be, that would be so overwhelming. Definitely. Uh, but affiliate was what I was really ho hoping for. I wanted to be able to make emotes. Um, yeah, that was what I was really excited about. And so it's all kind of sinking in. I just started streaming a couple months ago. Um, I'm still getting used to it. And now with the affiliate, there's so many, there's so much more to it. Like you got to try and run ads. Oh, maybe uh, RGR, maybe you know off the top of your head how often they play an ad. So if I run an ad like every hour, uh, does it prevent... Um, ads from sh like showing up for people or is it every half hour I, I'm not sure on the interval um, that was the one question I had that I haven't found the answer to yet so yes this city uh, I envision this as kind of a really uh, as a city and so we're giving it the industrial eco footprint uh, that is I can't remember if I had both of these neighborhoods but that is the way we're going to do it this time around. Enable free build. Uh, let me grab that cheat again. Uh, let's see here. Setting it to a two for industrial. Wait, are we talking about Twitch or YouTube? Because Twitch, I am not that familiar with. Okay. Yeah, I meant Twitch. I know YouTube is also running out the commercial thing for smaller streamers as well. 
Um, but I was wondering specifically for Twitch what the what the um, interval was. I know I've seen you on Twitch a handful of times, uh, but yeah, not as often as YouTube as I watch your speed builds and such. And on Twitter, of course. Um, so we set the eco footprint. I need to get dumpsters now. Just trying to... Um, so all of the houses, like the residential houses, are by... Um, wow. I can't remember her name. Like, she's my... I use her residential houses all the time. Uh, really? I never streamed... What? You've never streamed on Twitch? I swear to God, I saw you on Twitch. I'm... I... Interesting. Um, okay, well, I'm mistaken, I guess. <laughs> That's crazy. Nope. All right. Um, that is, I, I apologize for that. I must be thinking of someone else, I guess. Clearly, I know who your build, what your builds are, because uh, I was talking about them, but um, dumpsters. I'm trying to remember what I was doing here. Dumpsters. That is so odd. I feel, I feel so embarrassed now that 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 happened um and we are going to maybe put it right here interesting i have an imposter <laughs> yeah it must be um oh yes and then we put one in the back alley so here is this one tool active and then I think I put the other one back here because they can they can interact and walk back here. All right, so that is that neighborhood. Um, yes, I'm really hoping to get this world save done so that we can have it tomorrow. And when I stream, I can post it for everyone. They can go get it. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to start playing in it myself. Uh, this is, again, it's not a world save that I created all the lots. It's from the gallery. I do have that list that anytime I talk about this world save, this list is with it. Um, I want to make sure that everybody gets credit uh, for the builds in it, and so that will be included. Um, and so that if you know somebody really likes a build, they can check out their the other builds. And that's how we ended up with RGR in here is that uh, we were looking at one of his builds that I had used, um, and then one of the viewers. Um, commented on Twitter and tagged him and so you know that's what I really like is this community is so great uh so great at supporting each other and, and promoting each other like the only way I got to affiliate is by having other streamers and other you know people on uh Twitter um you know speaking up for me and vouching for me so um you know this I love this community it's such a positive thing other than maybe <laughs> complaining about the packs uh that's a whole different that's a whole different matter um but yeah that's that's why i love this community and feel really comfortable um being in this community so i hope i can enter i know when i um go into a retail lot i can't use the cheat to i can uh i think i can a restaurant so that's the safe one um, Sulani, of course, I envision being green. Um, I guess it depends on how far along you come in the conservation. Uh, you know, the, the changeover that Sulani goes through when you do the conservation activities. Um, but in my mind, it's going to have an eco footprint. Here again is that glitch driving me crazy with all the glitches and it's only on part like it's part of it has rendered correctly and then part of it is not so uh guys i feel ya um that again like i don't want to record a bunch of speed builds if we have stuff re rendering incorrectly kate i don't know if you're still here but you know how are you dealing with recording any speed builds if you know that is if you're running into that um you just change things so that it's not that way anymore I don't know I don't know what I would do so so far I've just been avoiding it that's what I've been doing
hide those areas with underwater decor. Oh yes. So you're you're using the um, disguise it area or disguise it tactic. Uh, I am here. Oh, awesome. But yeah, I mean, we could put some shells there or something. When what exactly happens? Oh, I was asking if you uh, if you're doing a speed build and you encounter something like this where you have something that's not rendering collect correctly. Like, do you still carry on with the speed build or do you hide it? Do you hide it or do you change what you're doing? Uh, that is one reason that I haven't built in like two weeks is because if I'm going to the effort of making a speed build and, you know, kind of presenting this build as something I want to be proud of, but then this kind of thing happens, um, you know, that's, I'm just wondering how you deal with it or if you haven't had that happen yet. So Sulani dumpsters really stand out, as you can imagine. There's not really a great place for a, Sula a dumpster in Sulani. Ah, I see. I stop recording usually, fix it, and then keep on building recording. Okay. So yeah, um, you've kind of figured out a way to do it in a way that works for you, which is awesome. Um, so in this neighborhood is actually the only one that has a really good spot for it. So yeah, I've I've missed a building, but um, also I just don't want to. I don't want to be frustrated. That's that's the thing is I do building for fun. Um, it's kind of my happy place, you know. And if I am just fighting with it or getting frustrated with it, and then I don't want to do it, and then it changes what it is. Um, you know, it's supposed to be a positive, a, a way for me to express my creativity. Um, so that's really important that I preserve that and not end up fighting it. And I guess that's why I'm hesitant. Like if I end up in that situation where I'm getting frustrated with things, platforms not working or things like that, um, you know, then I'm really, I guess I'm really hesitant, uh, to, to dive into that, knowing that that's a kind of a high likelihood right now. It's such a challenging time right now. Um, for everybody and their mental health and um you know I don't want to set I don't want to set myself up I have to protect myself the way uh where I can is at least how I feel and how I'm looking at things so um so that's what I'm doing and I guess I won't know till I try maybe the build I have in mind um is a Jap I do have a Japanese build that I want to do, uh, at least inspired, but um, maybe I won't have issues, and so I should at least try it. And if I do, I guess I can come back to it when hopefully, knock on wood, they um, fix those issues. All right, so this is the perfect example of the area where there's not the awesome, most awesome. Although there is that restroom I see over there. Very true. Yes, I'm glad you agree. Um, you know, other I'm uniquely isolated right now. I haven't left the house in, well, a week. So it actually, I started leaving the house once a week because um, I have physical therapy, so I kind of have to. Um, but otherwise, I haven't left the house in months, basically. Um, it's a really unique time that that we're living in, and um, I know a lot of people's mental health is struggling because of it, and so I have to be really careful about those things that are good in my life, uh, like building, and, you know, building is my creative outlet, one of my creative outlets, but the one I do the most, right now anyway, uh, I have to be really mindful and and protect that. That's really important to me. So we have the green eco footprint. As we know the game, when they fix stuff, they break other stuff. Too true, my friend. Uh, that is too true. And it's very frustrating. Um, 
And the second patch this time seems worse than the first. I don't know. I didn't have any, so I didn't have any issues with the first patch um, until I did. So the day before the second patch came out, I think it was because I was probably doing building or like, again, like just uh, working on this world save. And so I wasn't really doing any gameplay. But then when I started doing gameplay, it crashed like five times in one day. So then I did the patch. So far it's been stable. It hasn't crashed on me, but I'm getting, like, I'm still getting glitches. I know so many people I've seen on social media just be entirely frustrated with the whole thing. Um, I really hope that they can come up with um, a patch that, uh, whoops, a patch that like actually fixes a bunch of things and doesn't break more. You know, I know that's, it seems like it's a lot to ask. It shouldn't be a lot to ask. Uh, Adalia Sims, hi, welcome on in. How are you doing today? I'm basically just rambling here about, um, lots of different things. Lots of different things. Meanwhile, on screen, I'm just uh, working on my world save. I'm editing the eco footprints. I'm adding dumpsters because this is my world save that I'm going to do my basically extreme um, breaks to riches. And trying to find a slick place to put uh, dumpsters in Sulani. They stand out like a sore thumb. Um, so yes, how are you doing? Uh, let's see here. We have a food shack there. Here is our restroom. There's not a great spot to put it. Maybe here. And then trying to do math. Trying to use the tool mod and do math on stream while talking is, um, is its own challenge I'm learning. Looks amazing. Doing good things. Looking for motivation to continue building. Oh yeah, that's what I was just talking about is I am scared to try building. I haven't done any building in like two weeks, which normally I build ev like every day. Normally I build every day. Um, but with all the glitches and I haven't worked with platforms. I tried them out a teeny little bit, but I haven't done any. I haven't done a single build with it. So um, that's... I've been really hesitant to do that. Um, let's see if we have another area. So these are all homes. This is, I think, a shell. Because that doesn't look like one of mine. So maybe we'll put one up there as well. So yeah, um, I've had a great day streaming. It started off kind of slow, but then we've had a couple of chatters in uh, in chat now today um, of people I actually know, or at least know through social media. Uh, so this has been great. I actually have to wrap up pretty soon. Um, I stream while my husband is at work, and uh, that way we don't have interruption. He has his computer right next to mine over here. And so if he's you know, playing Call of Duty, it doesn't work very well to have him, <laughs> you know, doing call outs and everything while I'm streaming. So uh, we try to, I try to just stream me, you know, mostly while he's at work. Um, great game. Yes, I, I know way too much about it, actually. For somebody who doesn't play it, uh, my, my brother and, so my brother and his roommate uh, play with my husband. So um, they play most nights too. I don't play it. Um, he keeps trying to get me to play it, but it's just not my thing. Um, though I enjoy watching it. It's, yeah, I definitely enjoy watching it. But really, I only play The Sims, if I'm honest. I, uh, I only play The Sims. I'm kind of obsessed. And like I said, I'm I'm a builder. I don't do that much gameplay. So earlier in the stream, we were trying to unlock that secret or the cave where you can woohoo and do some other things. I haven't experienced th that part of the gameplay yet. So I wanted to try that, but, um, but I couldn't, I, we made five excursions total, I think, and it was ice over every single time. So that was frustrating and I decided to kind of switch gears and work on this world save um, 
and kind of at least, like I said, people can see the world, can see the builds. Same with mine. His computer is right beside mine and a GTA 5 and sirens are all I hear. Not the most relaxing thing when trying to build a Zen home. Totally. I can totally see that. Yeah. Um, yes. We, ha we have our, we have to put up with our significant others. They are, um, they're worth it. At least <laughs> I hope they are worth it. Um, but yeah, so I, you know, and he only works usually four hour shifts, which is about all I can handle. Uh, but challenge, yes, our significant others can be challenging. Uh, so, you know, about four hours is all I can do on stream. Um, I have a lot of, I have to take medications, I have to uh, drink a certain amount, I have pots, and so having a regular amount of fluid is really important, as well as I have a history of kidney stones, not to get too much into the health stuff, but um, so I have to drink at certain, like, I have to make sure I get a, this, a steady amount, and so when I'm streaming for a long time, I'm not drinking as regularly as I normally would. Um, cause I can't sit here and chug on stream. I guess I could, but, um, I just, it doesn't come as naturally. Let's put it that way. So we have Glimmerbrook also being the green footprint. Uh, let me get that in there. Get the cheat. Um, get the cheat in. Again, um, I, I'm aware that due to this house not being necessarily made out of green um, green materials, that it won't stay uh, in the green eco footprint. But since this is a world save that I want every t everybody to be able to use, uh, I kind of have these prefab eco footprints so that it kind of launches and looks a certain way. Um, and then they can choose to follow through that with that gameplay or not like that. I'm totally fine with that being, but again, this is the world that I want to play in as well. So I'm kind of making it to suit my preferences. Throw some solar plates. Yes, um, we could throw some solar panels on there and it would help. Uh, let's see, where did I put the dumpster in this lot before? And yes, yeah, so we are adding um, dumpsters to everything, changing the eco footprint, and then I think it should be ready. Maybe just a few other things, and then we can launch it. So is there? Sh there should be a restroom. So we're not going to put <laughs> we're not going to put it downstream. That doesn't make any sense. But we want to have it accessible here from the road. So I envision that you know the trash truck would come and do some maintenance on it, empty it or whatever. Um, at the side of the road. So that is at least where we're going to put it there. Um, and that is Glimmerbrook, or yes, Glimmerbrook is done. That was nice and quick. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I do think maybe it can hold, maybe it can hold it as a green. Yeah, and that's, you know, I don't know because I haven't played in each of these houses or e any of these worlds, but um, I think Brychester we have, I think we had this, maybe these were green. I'm trying to remember now, it's but when I did the eco footprint in the uh, save earlier, I don't remember exactly what it was, so um, let's see here, we'll go here. I think I am going to make this one green just to kind of simplify things. So yeah, I did end up adding a lot of solar panels and wind turbines to some of the areas that I wanted to have have it be green. And I don't know if that'll be enough. Um, but again, ooh, my computer's slowing up here. Um, Again, uh, I will I will alter things as I see fit when uh, I play through it, and anybody else can do that as well. I had a few downloads of my pre like the first version of this world save. Um, I know there's a lot of people who don't build who love world saves because then they can just play basically can play in this whole built up world, and they don't have to worry about doing any of the building. So um, I like hearing that feedback from people that 
they enjoy having a world save. Um, and I wanted to make one for myself. So that's kind of that's kind of the basis of this. Again, we are gonna cheat this into the green before I forget. So yeah, I was contemplating tomorrow trying building, um, trying building on stream. So what is the next step in the remaking of the maps? Um, that is actually it. Uh, I have placed all the buildings that I want. Um, I'm working on one world just now, and that's hard enough. So Dahlia, I don't know if you, um, if you were here when I was saying this. I didn't do all of these builds. Um, these are builds from everyone in the community. Um, I <laughs> I don't think I could make over all the worlds with just my builds. Um, I posted there uh, the link to the credits that of everybody's builds that I've used. Anytime I talk about this world save, I'm also posting that link so people have access to it. Um, I want the whole, you know, everybody to... Um, to be aware that this is a community world save. It's lots that I've chosen. Like I could make a library. I, you know, I'm not like in, insulting myself by any means. I, I think I have pretty good build skills. Um, but somebody else um, has created this wonderful library. Would I do this good a job? Maybe, maybe not. But I enjoy having other people's builds in my game. Um, it makes like people think of things that I'm not going to think of. Um, and so that's one reason why it feels like a much more rich experience to me. Um, and so that's why I wanted to have a world save that was not all my own. Um, I do think that is a noble task. Like there are people out there who have built every single lot. And I, I am in awe of that. But it's not for me. I just it's that would be way too much. That would be way too much for me. Um, but so yes, this is a community, uh, built, um, things off of the gallery that I've pulled that I enjoy. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's about it. That's kind of how I am functioning with this world save. So we should be able to put, um, a dumpster down here. That seems to make sense. Maybe over here we could have one. Again, the trash truck would maybe come by and I am just renovating San Myshuno apartments and community lots, but the 64 by 64 lot is intimidating me. Yes. <laughs> Kate needs uh, lots bigger than, um, Kate Emerald needs lots bigger than the 64 by 64 and a handful of other builders who are like, please give us, give us bigger lots. Um, I agree with you. 64 by 64 is intimidating for me. Uh, so we are going to do 45 and then rotate 180. So that's that one. I think that makes sense there. Um, and then... So yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing some gameplay. I don't do gameplay often. Um, I'm mostly a builder. That's kind of how I use the Sims. Well, let me let me back up. Sims 2 and Sims 3, I was in the gameplay. I enjoyed building, but not as much. Um, I really liked the gameplay. Um, Sims 3 had the option for 100 by 100, if you remember right. You could place them wherever you want. Yes, you could. It was like had create a world. You could place them wherever. I loved that. I miss that. Um, that was such a good thing. That was such a good thing. Uh, I do have Sims 3 on my older computer. Uh, my daughter plays it quite often. Um, so we do have that in our house. I haven't been playing it much. But with The Sims 4, I think the reason I became a builder is because the lack of gameplay, which is kind of a sad thing to say, but um, the builds, build tools are superior. Um, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. But at the same time, because I got so bored with the gameplay so fast, um, I think that's why I became a builder. Like, you know, I I enjoy this game a lot, but um, the fact that the build tools I feel are superior and the lack of gameplay is is why I became a builder. 
same sims 2 3 gameplay with sims 4 build cast for sims 5 please yes that's exactly it that's exactly it and she completely ignored me uh-oh math i missed your message hi math welcome on in how are you doing today i am actually just going to be wrapping up stream You've inspired me to take my own to make my own world save. I've started it today. Oh, that's awesome. I am so sorry I missed your messages. You even had several. Um, I am bad about that. Like I kind of only see the bottom few. So I have to again, I think it's gonna take practice being a new streamer. I have to get used to doing that. Also, I have my chat really small, so if I could able to see more messages, that would probably help me a little bit. Um so how are you doing? It's great to see you back. I love that you've started your own world save. How are you doing that? Are you going to be using builds from the gallery like I did? Or are you going to be building your own? Because I know you've built some awesome things. Um, I'm super awesome. Really? That's great to hear. I love that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I have a sim. I have the Sims 3, but with the disc, and I'm too lazy for a billion disc installation. I know what you mean. Yes. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't remember. I think I did the eco footprint in this, so we will see. Um, I'm using EA builds and my own builds. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm so happy that I could inspire you to be creative like that. I'm mostly renovating EA pre made builds. Perfect. I love the idea of renovating pre mades too. That that's a great like place to kick off from I've thought about doing that as well all right so we do have the green eco footprint um I do need to enter these in order to add dumpsters to these uh I think I will do that probably off stream I do need to get wrapped up uh, my husband should be home in about 10 minutes um and so I feel bad math that you've just kind of jumped in now and I have to go. I know you, I enjoy your company and you're pretty consistent with chatting with me. So uh, I apologize for that. And I wanna thank everybody else to RGR for stopping by. Um, RG, so Math, he was one of the ones who was here. Um, RGR actually stopped in stream today. We've been chatting with him. It was so nice. Stay safe, Emily. You too, uh, stay safe, definitely. It's, it's a tough time in the world out there and we gotta stay safe and wear our masks and social distancing and all that. Um, you are very, very kind to me. Love you. Oh, I love all of you guys. Um, you have made my streaming experience so wonderful coming in and chatting. Uh, RGR for stopping by um, after that shout out on Twitter and us uh, touring that uh, ski. Uh, it was his ski uh, s snowboarding store that we were touring yesterday, Math, if you recall. Uh, the RGR is actually in here chatting with us, and we had Kate Emerald. I don't know if she's still here. She stopped in. She is one of my favorite builders. She helped me out um, when I first started doing speed builds. She, uh, you know, we were able to private message, and she helped me out and let me know which programs to use and things like that. So, you know, this community is so great. I I am so grateful to all of you. Um, I feel so lucky to be in this community. And um, yeah, so. You guys, I really appreciate you stopping by. You made my day. I got some bits. Like I got my first subscriber. I got some bits today. It has been a big day for me. Um, I'm just flying high right now. I feel great. Um, so yeah, I will be back tomorrow. Um, my husband works at 10 a.m. Central Time. Um, so again, I'm shooting for four hours, whether or not I make that four hours. I love that smile. RG out. Bye, RG RGR. Um, take care. Um, and so I am shooting for, like I said, 10 a.m. Central. Um, I will do my best to be here then. And um, we we will catch you tomorrow. I, th I think I might try and do some building again. Hopefully I don't get too frustrated. If not, we will. If if I do get too frustrated, we will start doing something else. Um, and maybe do a little bit more gameplay, maybe start our regs to rich, extreme regs to riches. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. We'll see what I'm up to. Um, and thank you guys for joining me. Thank you so, so much. It meant so much. Today was a really special day. My second day as affiliate. Um, so thank you so much. And I will catch you tomorrow or another time. Bye guys.